to let them know that we're live. And I'll give some people some time to show up before I just start digging in. Let's see. Get to Facebook real quick. Okay. I'm so excited. This box has been a long time coming. Things have just... Life, you know? Um, the pandemic and multiple chronic illnesses on my part, on other people's parts. It's just insane. That's why I haven't broadcast in a while. But I'm back. You know, I'm relatively healthy and very happy, of course. I've got bunnies now. I love my bunnies. Um, for those of you that don't know, this is our HCAD after show. I'm typing, so apologize for that. Um, I love that the link is so short. Sweet. Now I've notified people <clears throat> that we're live. So the story behind this enormous box, and I'm going to try and show you guys what the box looks like before I open it. Good, the sound's working. Love it. I'm going to turn the camera. Whoop! Or drop it. <laughs> I tripped over the tripod last week and broke the connecting point of my webcam. Look at this box. It's humongous. It's 18 by 18 by 24, I believe. Sorry if you get motion sick. Um, yeah, I broke the camera off the tripod and bent one of the legs. Didn't hurt myself too much. I hurt my knee, but that was about it. I'm going to turn the camera. Oh, ignore my messy couch. Uh, that's probably too far down. And then turn it that way. There. Now you guys can probably see... <gasps> I'm going to go ahead and open the box, but I'm not going to get into it yet until there's more people watching because there are some people that specifically asked me to do this unboxing. And it just so happened to coincide with the HCAD After Show. So this is a very special episode of HCAD After Show. I'm going to try and get myself some more room. Oof. There we go. Whew. Sorry about that. I need room to straddle this big boy. Woo woo! <laughs> so I will just start on the tape. Uh, I had talked in one of my posts on Facebook and YouTube, my HCAD. HCAD stands for Hooks, Knits, and Dice, for those of you that don't know. It is my uh, YouTube vlog, vlog, sorry, <laughs> about uh, crafting and arts and fiber arts and everything and gaming. Because, you know, it goes hand in hand. Most of us the game are also crafty people. So, I always do an after show, barring sickness or other events, so that we can talk in real time about the stuff I talked about during the HCAD episode on YouTube. Hey, Stuart! I'd wave, but you can't see me. I can do this. Hiya! So, like I said, I'm going to wait for a few more viewers before I actually open the box. But it's 18 inches by 18 inches by 24 inches. So it's freaking enormous. <clears throat> so, Dalmar Wolf is my hubby. Yeah! Stuart is my bestie. My male bestie, anyway. This is male. Um, let's see if I can show you the box any better. No, it's not gonna... I'll just have to take it off. Okay, sorry for the motion sickness stuff. There is the enormous U-Haul box. And uh, it's filled with goodies from my gothic friends in Idaho. Hello, shout out to my besties in Idaho. And like I said, ignore my messy couch. Crafter. Here, I can hide it with pillows. Ha ha. There, scully pillow for your viewing pleasure. <laughs> there's another one. And there's one back there, but I can't reach it. <laughs> Yeah, it feels filled to the max. She wanted to maximize all the craft goodies that she could send to me, she being Trina, um, because she took charge of gathering all the goodies to send to me, and then she sent them out. And I'm really shocked at how big this box is, because I've been looking at boxes, or not looking at boxes, listen to me, I'm looking at a box, that's why I said that. I've been working with centimeters for so long now that when she when it said... <laughs> When she wrote 18 inches, for some reason I thought 18 centimeters. I'm like, oh, that's much smaller. And then I came and saw the box. I'm like, holy cow. 
So it's an enormous box. We'll see if we get a few more viewers. I'll let them know that I'm live in uh, the group chat that we have, just in case. <clears throat> Excuse me. Because I don't want them to miss it, although they probably can catch the on-demand stuff. But they want to see it live, so I want to make sure that they can. So I'm just opening up Facebook here. Facebook, Facebook. Aha! Alright. I'm about to unbox. And then I'll give them a link. There. Now hopefully we'll get some of the friends that actually contributed to what's in the box in the channel. It's fluctuate, probably because they're waiting for me to open. <laughs> so I'm not surprised. Yeah, 45 centimeters. If they had said that, then I would have known how enormous the box is. But uh, it's been a long time since I've really had to work about inches. You know, even when I'm writing my own patterns, being an American in Norway, I'm still using centimeters. And, uh, of course, writing recipes to bake and cook with, I use metric. I <laughs> resisted for a long time because, you know, Americans and metric. Oh, that ain't American. <laughs> So, but, um, I'm going to go ahead and just flip the lid open. Oh, it's taped on. Wow, they really taped it. I appreciate that. Keeps it from busting open. Now, where did I set the box knife? There it is. <laughs> this box knife is cool. I can't, I don't have it on camera. Here we go. Because you can twist this thingy and it keeps it from moving while you're cutting. Keeps it in place. And then when you retract it. It'll lock it so you can't accidentally pull the blade out. So, trying to be careful because it feels really full and I don't want to cut any of the contents. I'm just barely see if I can poke this up. There we go. Because if I can hold the lid up, then I can avoid cutting the contents inside. Oh, there's even a flap of cardboard under that. I will wait then because this is the last um, layer before I get to the contents inside the box. I see a little bit of black stuff. I'm so excited. <laughs> so I'll check with the ladies. Let's see. Because I would like to do this live for them. Make sure that the post went through. But yeah. So uh, it's really hard for me. As I said in the video on uh, YouTube. It's really hard for me to get a hold of some of the craft supplies that I use. I'm going to turn the camera up to look at me while we're waiting. There we go. Uh, because, uh, well, one, I'm a goth. So I do different crafts than the average Norwegian crafter does. So they just don't carry the craft supplies that I use here. Hi, Kim. Woohoo, Kim's here. She is one of my friends from Idaho. Amazing seamstress. She does embroidery. She has RFZ embroidery. I recommend you check her out. Also, her daughter is in my list of people that I follow. You should follow her. Kim, if you can give us a shout out for uh, your daughter's channel, please, in the chat. That would be swell, then everybody can check her out. Um, as I was saying, it's hard to get the supplies I use for crafting and sewing and crocheting ad nauseum in Norway. And even if we can get it, you know, sent here, if we buy it, say, online from anywhere but Norway, then they tack an extra toll on top of the toll you already pay, plus the shipping that you already pay. So you end up paying sometimes triple the cost of the actual item just with the shipping and all of the other stuff that's involved so uh all of my good friend or most of my good friends in idaho put together a care package for me some of this stuff oh what's that something blinged <laughs> oh it looks like someone else has followed that's what it is thanks for the follow um anyway uh yeah so they I had some stuff at Trina's house that she was hanging on to for me. 
and she sent that with some other craft supplies that she's found at like yard sales and stuff like that. So they're basically trying to make me feel like I'm back home, which is really sweet. I really appreciate you guys. Yeah, I got that, Stuart. I looked over and saw that I've been followed by someone new. Uh, page 1015, if you can let me know who you are so I can say hi properly, I'd appreciate it. Um, like I said, I've opened the first few flaps, but she's reinforced the box with a, um, what's the word I look for? A panel of cardboard, and that's what's sitting on top of all the good stuff. So I kind of want to wait until Trina gets in here. I don't know if she's available right now, but we're just going to have to go with it and she can come in and catch it part way through. I see I've got six viewers. Don't know who all's here other than Stuart, Kim, and my husband. So we're going to go ahead and get started with the unboxing and uh, hopefully she'll join midstream and I can react for her when she comes in. She being Trina again, as I said, because she put this whole box thing together for me. So I'm going to try and get the camera yeah there we go awesome so that's the link in the chat for kim's daughter's twitch stream and thanks for the new follow uh i think to to milky to milky way bv i like that name kim said hi to you my love in the chat Oh, okay, so she was replying. Oh my goodness, look at this. I'm just gonna flip this over here. Wow, this is gorgeous. Let me put the safety on this blade. There we go. So this is a, I believe a dyed ostrich feather and I can turn this into a quill pen. Oh my goodness, I love the color. Goss like green, you know, it's a little known fact. So yeah, I can totally turn this into a beautiful quill pen. That's amazing. <laughs> yeah, I know she did. Yeah, Trina really went went the, the long distance to make this happen, and I'm really grateful for it. This looks like, like, looks like another ostrich feather. This one's black. And I can attach this to a hat or something. I don't know what I'll do with it, but I'll do something amazing with it. I'll tell you that. So, Stuart, please meet Kim. Kim lives in Idaho. Stuart lives in England. Ugh, I've got tape sticking to my foot. <laughs> Let me see if I can get that off. Ah, there we go. Ah, once you start opening things, I like this. I don't know what this is, but I like it. Ooh, what the heck? I think it's a dress. Oh, that's so pretty. Look at this, you guys. Isn't this beautiful? It's got long sleeves, which I don't usually do, but I can, you know, alter that. And then it's just a single straight. Oh, it's got buttons. I wonder if it's a nightgown. I bet it's a nightgown. Let's see. What does it say? Intimates. Yeah, it's a Lane Bryant nightgown. Oh, it's so pretty. I love it. Oh, my goodness. Wow. I love roses on black. Red roses on black. That is hugely my favorite thing. It's bigly. <laughs> Just gonna fold this nicely and set it aside. <laughs> if I can, because the box is getting in the way. <laughs> oh my goodness, it smells nice too. Oh, what's this? Is this stones? Let's see. Oh, what the hell is here? Oh, wow. Um, these look like um buttons that you can let me see if i can put it in front of the camera looks like it has the little hammer there there might be an anvil in here but there are snaps that you can put on clothing that attach with prongs instead of the sew-on snaps and then sticking out of the bag is a very pretty very sparkly bracelet bracelet let me try that again i don't think the camera does the sparkle justice but i'm gonna put that on right now because it's stretchy <laughs> Let me set that down. This is super pretty. Oh, and there's a little charm. But brother, can I not read that? My glasses are down in the crow's nest. Let's see what else is in here. Sparkles indeed. Oh yeah. So these look like the tools you use, if I can get them and hold them up, to attach the snaps to your garment. 
closing the prongs and that sort of thing. So that's going to be super useful. Really appreciate that. Now, if you're watching this and you're one of my goth friends, yeah, kind of like grommets, except for that they're snaps. They're buttons that snap together. Um, if you're one of my goth friends and you're watching this unboxing, then uh, please give me a shout out if something I pick up is what you contributed. Oh my goodness sakes alive. So this is a silicone, silicone mold. Can you guys see the patterns on these? Oh my goodness. Wow. These are like soap molds, I think. I like that a lot. There's an, there's one with what looks like Chinese writing. Um, there's a few of them with filigree. There's a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight point star inside some swirls and some geometric lines, for lack of a better term, and then a flowery one. Isn't that beautiful? I'm going to make so many cool things with these. It's going to be amazing. Uh, I, I realized I don't have a place to put all this stuff that I'm unboxing, babe. Uh, maybe you could get me one of the reusable shopping bags? Jello shots? Sure. That would be fancy. <laughs> yeah, that would be great. Make some jello shots with these. I would make them the different colored ones too, so that they would have different colors and then they top with the design. That's amazing. I'm so trying that. There's a couple of Yeah, that'll help. Just set them here on the couch and then I can put stuff in here. Thank you. So, <laughs> this is cute. This looks like, oh my goodness, there's a whole bunch of uh, polymer clay in here. I bet this one's from Trina. I think she mentioned sending me specifically some polymer clay. I love working with polymer clay. Thank you, though. You can just set it there. So we've got some purples. Let me see if I'm close enough to the camera. Uh, the color's off on the camera, but I don't know how to adjust that. Because this looks red, and it's actually hot pink. And this is kind of a magenta, which looks more like a purple. And then this is a deeper... Less red, more blue purple, and then a very dark purple. We've got beige and gray and black and white. We've got terracotta, I would call it, and a mustard yellow. And then mm, a dusty rose and a... Mm, it's between a chocolate and a brick color. Oh, I... Yeah, I'm, I'm embarrassed about that class. I was not very good at teaching that, but everyone was so patient with me. Kim's talking about at Fandemonium, a convention in Idaho. Uh, I taught a class on how to work with polymer clay, but I had brought the wrong clay with me. I bought the kind, brought the kind that has to be conditioned with a special conditioner. So it was all crumbly and no one could get it to work. But uh, Kim managed to make a Star Trek Tom badge. Uh from the polymer clay and it worked out and she seems to have liked it a lot so i call that a win <laughs> something's poking me in this one what do we have here oh my goodness you guys look at this i well when i show you look at this <laughs> it's let's see oh there we go it's a bat on with a blood drop it looks coming from it it's um and it's a smiley belt. Let's see if I can get it close enough. Show you guys the... Mm, it doesn't want to focus. But he's smiling. It's cute. And then this one has a coffin with the skelly's face showing. I know, right? Oh, I love that you still wear your combat. That's so cool. Let's see what else is in here. Oh, uh, the both of the bat... Let me try that again. The other bat and then there's a different bat it's a filigree bat with a large dangly i do not know this shape in gem terms but it's a it's beautiful that's what it is <laughs> and then a cute little rubber eraser it a scully guy <laughs> and the bag on the back has uh one of the Chinese symbols for good fortune, if I remember correctly. So that's really pretty. I've got two 
velour drawstring bags now. Now I want to look at the other one again and see if there was a pattern I missed. No, that one's solid black. So then, um, ooh, what's this? Ooh, I love the paper on it. Oh, it's jasmine. Oh my god, I love jasmine incense and rose. Look at these, you guys. Aren't these beautiful? You can see her face up here. Very pretty. And then this one, her face is here. If I can get it low enough so you can see. I love incense. Love, 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 love incense. So that's especially awesome. There are so many things in here. It's ridiculous. It's going to take me hours to get through all this. This says, come in, my pretty. <laughs> Cute. These are little, it looks like Halloween, either gift cards or you can use them for decoration. I'm not sure what these are. They might be stencils because they, they feel kind of raised. So they're either stickers or stencils or something like that. Whatever they are, I love them. It's going to be awesome for Halloween. I see something sparkly. Oh my goodness. They're spider ornaments. Look at that. Oh my goodness, that is so much fun. Coloring pages? Oh, they're coloring pages. That's even better. Awesome. I love these. I'm still hanging these up, like, right away as soon as I'm done with this. <laughs> well, so it won't be right away, but when I'm done, Sharpies or colored pencils. Good enough. Oh, stickers. I love stickers. They're butterflies. Hey, Mom, if you're watching, <laughs> Mom loves butterflies. So she and I can do some crafts together with these amazing butterfly stickers. <gasps> Crystal tattoos and their blood drops. Oh, my gosh. Do my friends know me or what? Oh, wow. Look at this. Let me see if I can hold it up so you can look at it. It's kind of a coppery red. It kind of shows this gold on this, but... This is super pretty. I think it might be a sticker. Might be an iron-on. I'm not sure. We'll figure it out. <laughs> I can ask Trina. Um, it's a glittery foam, somewhat crescent moon. And another butterfly, which might be an iron-on. That's super pretty. Let's see what this is. Oh, wow. Tommy, look at these. Let's see if I can turn it toward the camera. I think they're stickers, like 3D, like scrapbooking stickers. These are gorgeous. Holy cow. <gasps> Tommy, look. Isn't that pretty? Oh my goodness. <gasps> oh, look here. These are cute. I think they're the kind of cards you give with money in them, or the envelope. They are, they're the envelopes you give lucky money at the Chinese New Year celebrations. That's fun, there's a name for those envelopes and sadly I don't know what they are. Oh wow, these look like, um, oh yeah, Tommy, tell her how you like the dragon. This is Kim who embroidered your dragon that I gave you. So these are pelvis, um, what do you call them? X-ray type things. Thank you. My brain stopped working. Uh, this one's another pelvis. That's cool. Hard to show up on camera. Uh, yeah, I can actually show you. These are ribs. The rib cage. Really hard to show on. Oh, these are insects. That's really cool. I don't know if you can see. There, yeah. Let me... Take a break for a second so I can show Kim the, the place of honor. Uh, there it is. So up above my scully pillow here is where we have the amazing dragon embroidery that Kim did at my, well, I, cussed, I ordered it from her for Tommy. Was it your birthday or what? I don't remember what I ordered it. Might have been Christmas. Not sure. There, got the camera going again. Looks like there's some more incense here. That's why the box smells so good. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, 
Swarna Kalash. Rich Divine Fragrance. I haven't tried this. I want to try it. Tommy can't handle incense much. Neither can his mom. So I'll have to use it down in the crow's nest. <gasps> I love Night Queen. Oh my gosh. I haven't had Night Queen since I worked then. Kim thinks it was your birthday. I worked in a candle shop and I sold incense and Night Queen was my favorite. Let's see. Uh, sandalwood. Yeah, love me some sandalwood, let me tell you that. Then the fragrance might be listed on the other one down at the bottom. It just says Rich Divine Fragrance. So, I don't know what it is, but I'm gonna try it. <laughs> let me get this one open here. Uh, Tampaka flower. I wonder if it has anything to do with Nag Champa. Now I have to smell it. Oh, God, it smells so good. Let's see here. Um. Oh, I think I need my glasses. Oh, it says Precious Lily. It's in Spanish. That's why I can read it. <laughs> it's got several languages on it. and One of them's Spanish. So Precious Lily. Oh, and this one's Indian Jasmine. I freaking love Jasmine. Oh, God, that's so good. Thank you so much for the incense. It might have been patchouli. Standard incense. Uh, did I say that? Cause <laughs> I'm not sure if I did what I meant by standard incense. Oh, uh, let's see. Hey. Oh, more of the little money envelopes. These are adorable. I love the lucky cat. And I'm holding them so you guys can't see. There you go. I gotta keep looking up at the screen. <laughs> And, ooh, dragonfly stickers. These are super pretty. And so shiny, so it's hard to show you. <laughs> trying to... There. Yeah, meow. <laughs> oh, let's see. What have we here? It's so nice. She bundled these all up in bags for me. Ooh, babe. Some uh, cats with their backs arched. I don't really know what to call it. But they're wooden blanks. Yeah, so I can either paint or do pyrography on them. That's amazing. There's another... Oops, that's a butterfly. Okay, this kind of looks like the butterflies we have here in Norway. That's pretty. So, um... And there's another good luck money envelope there. And... Oh, there's some more here. Let's see. I've got several little things here. Oh, <laughs> it's a Foam Wishes hat sticker. That's adorable. I love it. Let me separate the money envelopes from everything else. Oh, no way! This door knocker. I thought at first he was from Labyrinth, but he's not. He's got glasses on. I don't know why, but it's so cute. Oh, I like that a lot. And it looks like there's a name tag, too. So, and then there's a lot of little crystal stickers. Or, you know, I guess tattoos they could be. That's what they're gonna be. <laughs> um, oh, and there's some little bitty gift cards with some beautiful designs. Let's see what we have here. So, yeah, there's two of these. Look at that, Tommy. Yeah, yeah, it's it's quicker to look at me, but if you can't see that far away, then just wait for yeah. it to show up on camera. Yeah. These are gorgeous. I will put them with my stationery. I do a lot of calligraphy, and I would send pen pals cards and stuff like that. Scaredy cats. Thank you, Kim. I look up at the chat every now and then. Um. Oh, gosh. <gasps> Tommy. I'm going to die. Look at this. <gasps> Holy cow. Oh, my God. These are gorgeous. I don't know who gave these to me. They're probably from Trina. These are amazing skulls with an AB shine and they're stickers. <gasps> so pretty. What do you think, dummy? Yeah. You're going to wake up and like, why are there scullies all over my house? And I'll be like, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, this is true, but I meant stickers. <laughs> Whoops. Dropped something. I cut it. It's another scaredy cat. Wooden blank. Now I have three of them. I can make like some things. I'm making sure I didn't drop anything else. So more of the um, coloring pages. Yes. 
Oh, more of the, um, my brain stopped. X-rays. Yeah, I know those skulls are amazing. Speaking of skulls, <laughs> that's an X-ray of a skull. And another bug. Let's see if we can... Mm. <laughs> it's hard to see, but it's a bug. And then, uh, the hand. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And then it looks like another skull and another rib cage. So I will find some amazing stuff to do with these x-rays. Ooh. Looks like they gave me a lot of scrapbooking stuff. Some stickers and things. This is very scrapbooky. It's got like old-fashioned style stamps and nibs for fountain pens and travel stuff. That's really awesome. I can do some great journaling with that. And then this one. It appears to be tags. Oh, there's two of them. Let's see if I can get it on screen. There we go. So these are punch-out tags, I think. And they're more floral and cottage. Uh, and these are more of travel correspondence style. <laughs> I got a lot of kissy lips. <laughs> Sparkly kissy lips. I love it. <laughs> These are adorable. And then some really sparkly stars. Very pretty. Love them, love them. Ugh, Tommy. They know I'm a Corvid. They give me all the shinies. <laughs> Ooh, here's a notepad that's got, um, Imitation bottles of poison and stuff for like witches' ingredients, that sort of thing. Yes, label all the things. <laughs> this says Superior Eye of Newt Poison, Blood of Bat Guaranteed, and Black Cat's Hiss 100% Potency. <laughs> this is great. I use notes all the time. So that's going to be awesome. <laughs> and this one says Blood, Sweat, and Tears Saps the Life Out of You. <laughs> That's funny. I like it. Ooh, I like this one too. It simply says, Beware. Scullies, gotta love them. For those of you that don't know, I collect scullies. So, let's see. Ooh, what's this? Oh, I think this is like washi tape. It says, The witch is in. Fabulous. Oh my god, that's so cute. So, it's a little silver roll. I think it's washi tape. It seems to be the right size and stuff. And then there's this really pretty butterfly here. And I don't know what kind it is, but I can look it up. It's really pretty. I think it might be a sticker. It may just be a cutout, which I can turn into a sticker, because I have a sticker maker. Ooh! It's a watercolor brush. I love these. I have two of them. They are bigger brushes than this. So this will add to the different sizes in my collection, which is super nice. So that's great. Let's see. I think there's a couple more things here. Oh, what's down here? There's a little bitty metal thing, if I can pick it up. Let's see. Oh, it's a, it's a dragon charm. And I think... No, it's just shiny. I thought it had something in its paws. Let's see how close I can get with this. Hard to see. You can kind of see, but it's a dragon. So that's awesome. I'll actually put it in this. It probably fell out of this bag. Let's see what's in here. Ooh. Oh my gosh. It's a D20 ornament. Tommy, look at this. <laughs> You'll have to wait a sec. Oh, that's awesome. Isn't that fun? That's so going on my tree this year. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, let's get that in there. And I'm putting all the velour bags off to the side. I'll put this in with the other charms. Yeah, so for those of you who are just joining us, I'm unboxing a care package from my goth friends in Idaho. They're amazing, especially Trina Lockery. Ooh, it's a gel roller pen. I've got a blue one and a purple one. I love gel roller pens. Okay. That's 
two bags now. We barely scratched the surface. This says, ooh, hair falls. Tommy, I can make some hair pieces with this. Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh, look at these. They're gorgeous. Ooh, and they're even organized. Look at that. How pretty are these? Oh my goodness. Tommy, I'm gonna die. Gotta tell ya. It's too bad they sent it to me, because now I'm gonna die. <laughs> but yeah, it's got this convenient little um ring, which I can't think of the proper name for that. But it holds all of these lovely falls together from Trina. Oh, Trina made these. So pretty, Trina, you're amazing. Oh my gosh, I don't even know if I can get this. Tommy, I think I need your help <laughs> putting these back in the bag. I don't want to mess them up. Oh my lord. <laughs> I shouldn't have taken them out, but I wanted to look at them. I mostly have it. I don't want them to get tangled up. There we go. That's amazing, Trina. You're awesome. I can't even believe it. I'll use it this one. Looks like there's a peacock feather in here. Little guy. Hmm, his stem broke a little. That's all right. We'll find a use for him. Put him over here with the other feathers. And then, oh, more feathers. Awesome. Oh, wow. These are, um, oh, my brain has stopped. Let's see if it'll tell me. It doesn't tell me what kind of feathers these are, but you can look. They're rooster feathers, so they might be hackle feathers. Kind of hard to show you how good it looks in the, well, one, my camera coloring's off. I'm going to have to fix that at some point. And then we have all these dyed turkey feathers, which are great use them for a lot of things i like to make fans and it's a fun thing you can make a fan using plastic forks and feathers and i can do a tutorial on that sometime but observe sparkly spider ribbon how beautiful is this isn't that gorgeous i never saw anything like this when i was in the states i'm pretty sure she gets some of her stuff from joanne fabric and crafts but I never saw anything like that there. So here we have some more charms. There we go. Open up. What do we have here? These are... I'm not sure. I think they're findings for necklaces. They have a, um, a cap and a... It looks like a head pin that's been turned. And then it looks like it has rubber ends, little black rubber ends. Let's see, this is, oh, wow, this is pretty. So this is a focal piece, I'm thinking. And see how well you can see it. And yeah, that is beautiful. And then, oh, oh my God, it's a mask, like a Venetian mask. And it's a charm. It's the cat one i forget the name of it i used to know the official names for the traditional venetian masks is another one i want to say that that's columbine and this one i don't remember the names i'm gonna have to look this up but these are tra traditional venetian masks and they're charms and i happen to have made a what is it? Is it a victory? I think it was called Liberty. It was a Liberty mask is what it was. And I made it in polymer clay and put it on a necklace so I can add these charms to the necklace I made. And this looks like a Malachite wand. Let me try and show you better. And it's wrapped with a band. It's a, is it a hex? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, it's a hexagonal wand, double pointed. And it's made of malachite. This one is amethyst colored. It's kind of hard to show on this. It looks kind of amber in the video, but it is, uh, what do you call it? Amethyst colored. So these are beautiful. I can, I can definitely add these to my memory necklace. Where? Oh, there's the little bag. I don't want to just leave these loose. I'm going to put them back in their little bag if I can. 
My big finger is getting in the way. Wait, get in there. Awesome. So then there are some more little. I don't know if this is a. Oh, it's a magnet. I bet she made this one. Let's hold this up. It's got a fleur de lis and a black rose and a heart key. And it says. Uh, oh, it's the Dictionary of Beat. I don't know. Excuse me if you guys can read that. It's kind of blurry. But yeah, it looks like she made it from a page of a dictionary. Hard to say, but it's beautiful. I love it. And then a whole bunch more of these dyed feathers. You better believe I'm going to make some amazing stuff with these. Oh, don't fall. Oh, it fell. <laughs> Trying to put all the feathers together. Birds of a feather and all that. I think these are marabou. Oh, it's taped closed. I will grab my scissors. Sorry for the noise. <laughs> my uh, laptop sits on top of my computer. Um, yeah, on top of my sewing table when I'm not sewing. These scissors need sharpening. That's why I don't mind using them on plastic. There we go. So yeah, I think these are black marabou. I can't get it open right now, but I would bet you dollars to donuts that's what these are. Uh, oh! The fan! How pretty. Mommy, look at this. Isn't that gorgeous? I had a red one. With se or, or I should say a black one with red sequins like this. It made it to Norway, but I don't know where it ended up. And it's a little known fact that I collect fans. So, hooray, I got a new fan for my collection. And then, what are these? There's four of them. No, there's three of them. I can count. <laughs> what do we have? Ooh, lash glue. Oh, amazing. I won't run out of lash glue for a while, my friends. Awesome. I do make my own false lashes. So I haven't made more than one yet because it's been a while. I've been doing so many things. There's some more little necklace pieces in here. If I can get my hand out of the bag. Oh, that's pretty. Look at that. Let's see if I can bring it closer without going blurry. I love the detail on that. And. Oh, I would, babe, if it has no legs, but it has wings, is it a wyvern or is it a worm? I think, don't quote me, but I think that's a wyvern. It's beautiful either way. It looks very illuminated, illuminated manuscript. Oh, here's a fun little owly. It's cute. It's got um almost a snakeskin pattern hammered into it. It's hard to show on the camera there, but it is cute. So, got through another box or bag rather, one box. Um, let's see what else needs to go in here. That needs to go in here, and that can stay there. I'll just set that aside. Ooh, here we come to some molds. Oh, and paint, it looks like, and glitter. Hot dog. Let's see what we have here. Oh, there are, um, oh my goodness, fairy bottles in here, and tons of glitter in all manner of colors. This is amazing, and there's even an amber-colored bottle. Oh, this is special. Look at this. Isn't that beautiful? I love it. Oh my gosh. You guys are amazing. I'm I'm super, super grateful for my goth friends in Idaho. They were the only part of Idaho that made it worth living there. And let me tell you, they're just the sweetest people on earth. I I don't even have words for that. Ah, uh, spider and web molds. Can use those for a number of things. 
<laughs> uh, bones kind of mold here. It's got femurs, feet, rib cage, hands, and a scully. So much fun. Ooh. What does this say? Supernatural. Join the hunt. <laughs> so these are uh, wings and a sword. I think. I think it's meant to be a sword. I could be wrong. I have no idea. What do you think, Tommy? Kind of like a sword? If anybody else knows what that is, please give me a shout out because I have no idea. Well, Supernatural was that show with Sam and Dean. So I'm wondering if this was some kind of weapon. Oh, it's his tie, she thinks. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I got it. I, I haven't watched Supernatural in freaking years. I don't even think I got to finish the series. Let's see. What's this? Oh my goodness. These are a bunch of spideys. And it's a multicolored silicone web. And the web, listen to me, mold. And the mold is a spider itself. That's freaking awesome. <laughs> so yeah, the angel does wear the tie. Um, Castiel was his name, I believe. Yeah, I didn't finish it either. <gasps> Ooh, snowflakes! Perfect for being in Norway. I'm going to try and tilt the camera so you can see the patterns. Or not the camera, but the molds. Can you see them, Tommy? Isn't that pretty? Right? For everything. What's this? What's this? <laughs> it's a unicorn-shaped unicorn mold. <laughs> oh, I love it! It's perfect! Look at this! That is so funny! I can unicorn it up. <laughs> That's great. So, ooh, scully molds. I have the full tray of these, but you can never have too many of these. So, very awesome. <laughs> and Tommy, it's a kitty cat mold of kitty cats. It's awesome. Oh my gosh, because I can make buttons with these, you know. Uh Oh, and a skull and a pair of crossbones for when I want to get my pirate on. Oh, thanks, Gothic Gecko, Gecko, for the follow. Give me a shout out if you know me personally and let me know who you are so I can say hi. Well, I've already said hi, but say hi properly. <laughs> uh, for those of you just joining us, my Gothic friends in Idaho sent me an enormous care package of craft supplies, Gothic themed craft supplies and other goodies holy moly this one's heavy it looks like cookie cutters so um i think someone cleaned out their kitchen door <laughs> oh it's a unicorn cookie cutter <laughs> tommy oh it's sheila hi sheila yep it's a unicorn it's a unicorn is this a number two i think it looks like a number two not sure maybe someone did a birthday or something and that's a one. Sadly, I'm no longer 12 or 21. <laughs> so, let's see. I think this is meant to be a holly leaf. It might be a Christmas tree if I turn it this way. We'll figure it out. We'll find something to do with it. Oh, my lord. Um, oh, <laughs> a maple leaf. Yeah, that's fun. And a tombstone. I have one, but it's it's more elongated, so it's nice to have different sizes of it. Oh, here's a smaller maple leaf. I'm trying to... There. There. Now you can see it better. And then... What do we have here? Oh, an even small... It must be a set, because there's an even smaller maple leaf. Woo! almost dropped it. <laughs> so I can make some beautiful fall decorations with these. It's going to be epic. What do we have here? I really should have grabbed my glasses from the crow's nest. Um, oh, it, it looks like a choker. Holy moly. I think she made this. Trina made this choker. How pretty is this? Let me get the chains where they need to be. Oh my goodness. Try and... Yeah, now you can see it. Isn't that beautiful? I'll probably have to use an extender because of my big fat neck, but... Let me see. Yeah, it only goes halfway around my neck. 
Um, but yeah, absolutely gorgeous. I'm gonna put that with the velour bags. Oh, fun. Scullies. I think I had one of these and I gave it to Rena for her gothic cheerleader costume when we went to Pandemonium one year together. What do we have here? Oh, a broom! That's so cool! We can make a besom. I think that's how you pronounce it. I'm probably not pronouncing it correctly. But anyway, I can make some beautiful ones. And... Oh, a crow! It's a crow, Tommy! Get another crow. This one is, uh... Slimmer, I guess you would say, than mine. So, it's nice because now I have a second shape. And then... I think this is meant to be a bell. It looks like a bell to me, anyway. Hmm. Oh, no what? It's an acorn. I'm a dodo bird. It's an acorn. <laughs> ay, 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 conmigo. Ooh. This looks like a dragon wing drop ear cup is what it says. Look at that. I'm so wearing that. That is gorgeous. I'll put the jewelry all together in one place. Oh. And a pretty key on a cord. Very nice. And, ooh, a lot of seed pearls. Let's see if I can, there, I think they're river pearls from the look of them. Very nice. I haven't had river pearls to work with in forever. What's this? Oh, that's neat. It's a portrait, and I don't know how well it's going to show up on camera. Of a little girl, and if you tilt it just right, she appears. I don't know if it's monstrous or. Yeah, she looks undead. Wow. That's really hard to show up on camera, but it's super gorgeous. Here's another bag. She's got a zillion of these little bags. I love them. Let's see. Oh my gosh, you guys! There are all manner of wands here. I'm gonna try and get this as close as I can. So you guys can see look at these wands this one looks like peacocks or um they're i don't know what they are is the thing um they're super beautiful some of them have an a b shine wow <laughs> dual use okay i wasn't looking what's the dual use for <laughs> Oh, oh, several different sizes of the leaves. I bet you that's what that first one was, was a different kind of leaf. Because these are fall cookie cutters. I got it. A little slow on the uptake. Ooh, <laughs> babe, it's a cauldron. Huh? How fun is that? Oh, yeah, the acorn bell. Got it. <laughs> yeah, I'm having trouble making these show up. There we go. So that is a cauldron. That's going to be amazing. And I think I've got a little bit of a tangle here. Several different things. <gasps> Super pretty. It's a, it's a choker, obviously. And it looks like it might be real silver. It's hard to tell. It's super pretty, whatever it is. Now, don't worry about spelling. I can't talk, so we're even. <laughs> okay, so here's a six. We're getting warmer. <laughs> I will be 45 this year, actually. So there, that's the six. Oh, big fat star. Nice. Love it, love it. Uh, oh, it's a four, number four. See, I can use this one twice and get a number four. Someone on one of the Reddits, they were talking about how they bought cookie cutters to spell mom and they bought two M's. <laughs> let's see well these are magnets Ooh, these are what you I don't, flocked that's the word i'm looking for these are flocked stickers of spiders in their webs and they're heart shaped there's two of them super pretty and then here's another magnet with gears on them i've used these particular kinds of gears in my own artwork so that's fun to see um, just gonna set them there. Oh, Black Kitty. Love it. 
It's also flopped. What, ooh, it's a snowflake. It's a big one, too. Let's see if I can kind of bend it back in shape. There we go. Snowflake! <laughs> so, oh, different sizes of snowflakes. So they're set. I love that. Because you can do cool stuff with that. What do we have here? Huh. Oh, I think it's meant to be a ghost. I got it. Let me see if I can show it. Ah, oh, there we go. What's this? Doughboy's Attic. I think that's a very fancy dragon. Doesn't say... Oh, the U.S. veteran-owned business. Very nice. Doughboy's Attic. And I think it's a dragon of some sort. Very pretty. I'm interested to try it out. And then we have another one from them. Oh, it's a sacred heart. It's got the heart with the flames on it and the thorny kind of crown thing. That's nice. Let's see. Oh, come on. There's a number three. If I can hold it up. Nope. Oh. I'm just putting all the cookie cutters to one side so I can put them in one bag. There's a zero. So I probably have the whole number system from zero to nine. Ooh. This, uh... Fairy bottle, I guess? Loch Ness? It might have been, but it didn't have the right number of bumps. Uh, these look like the hands to a clock. So perhaps I have time in a bottle? <laughs> Sorry. Had to. It was right there waiting for me. Look at this. Oh my gosh. You guys. Isn't this pretty? I'm going to bring it up so you can see. Isn't that gorgeous? That looks like... I'm not sure what this is meant to be. Because it has a... Clip-on screw-back earring post here. But then it has a regular earring post there. I wonder if it's meant to be... Like for the left ear. Oh, I'm off screen. You wear it on a clip-on up top and then in your regular earring hole here. Oh, wow. That's epic. I bet you Trina made this. She's amazing, you guys. If she still sells stuff, buy it from her because she's awesome. Let's see. Oh! Silver, um... I want to say French loop earring findings? I can't think of what they're called, but they're silver tone. That bag is empty, so I bet you stuff dumped out of it. Uh, let's see. Ooh, this is a, uh, possibly velvet choker. It's either velvet or velour, I couldn't tell you. It's, uh, really rich red. Almost a brick red, but darker. And, of course, it's too small for my neck, but I'll find a use for it. Uh, oh, there's the number seven. What have we here? Ooh, fun. It's a bloody tombstone. Rest in peace. It's uh, got a little chain, so I could hang it in the window. Be like a kind of a sun catcher. Although, uh, mom's dog Mira is a light hunter. She will chase light everywhere. And bark like there's no tomorrow. So maybe not a sun catcher. This one's for sure a dragon. Another Doughboy's Attic creation. Super awesome. I'm going to make Christmas ornaments using that. Wow. What is this? I think it's a bracelet. If I can be tangly. Or no, I think it's just meant to be beads that you use to make jewelry with. They're... Let's see if I can hold them up. It's a richer red than what's showing on screen. It looks kind of orangey, tomatoey, but it's an actual deeper red with a little more blue in it. And they're beads for making jewelry with. Let's see. Ooh. Shinies. Oh, I love the shinies. I'm going to put more shinies on because you can never have too many shinies. <laughs> These are beautiful. They feel really good, too. Look at that. I'm so blingy. What do we have? Ooh, a, a, I can't talk. A blue velvet choker. 
And this one has a prism. I don't know what shape it is hanging from it. That's beautiful. You know, I can use these to trim clothing that I'm going to make. So even though I can't wear them as the intended choker purpose, I can definitely incorporate them in my designs. I'm trying to figure out what the heck this is. I think it's an O. Oh, oh, I see. <gasps> wow, guys, look at this. Isn't that beautiful? I can't even... Let me try and... <laughs> there, it's really involved. It's an earring. Oh, there's a magnet stuck to it. No wonder. Yeah. So, oops, hold it where the camera can see it. That is super pretty. Very dangly. Very much my style. It'll go with um, some of my belly dancing outfits. Oh. <laughs> I think it's a house. So, like, maybe the house from the, the gingerbread house from the witch. You know, from... Uh, Hansel and Gretel. That's what it's going to be. <laughs> oh, this is a pretty ribbon with, <laughs> uh, it looks like a heart, but it also looks like a rib cage to me. Anyway. Nice charm. And then Scully's macrame into a bracelet. Very cool. Very summer, if you ask me. It feels like hemp. I could be wrong. No, it's a cord of some kind, but it has the look of hemp, so that's cool. This was sticking out, and it feels like there's a lot of magnets running around here. Yep. Oops, I dropped something. Dang it. Come here. <laughs> uh, ooh. So this is a charm with three sizes of clock hands on it. Very cute. And this, I think, broke, but I can fix it. Wow, I love the colors. So it's black with a very deep glittery purple for the stones in the center. And I think if I if I get some wire, I can hook it back together, but it looks like it's missing two of the flowers. I'm holding it off screen, sorry. So I'm going to look in here. I bet I'll find more of the flowers. Let's see, what's this? Oh, it says Black Cat Society. It's a bubble charm. Very cute. I like it. I don't own any black cats, but I love black cats. Okay. Ooh, oh my god. These are gorgeous. These are multicolored gems for making jewelry. The camera definitely doesn't do them justice. They are... Some of them look green, some look purple, but they have a serious AB shine going on there. So I'll definitely be making some jewelry with those. Let's see. Oh, a crown. Yup, yup. Definitely can do some cool stuff with that. Oh, a princess, of course. If you're going to have a unicorn and a crown, you got to have a princess, right? You can totally do that. I can goth that up, let me tell you. It doesn't have to be a pretty, pretty princess. It can be a gothy, gothy princess. Number two. There we go. This bag is almost done. What do we have here? Oh my gosh. This is a mother of pearl flower. Let's see if I can tilt it. It's a five petal flower. Oh my gosh, that's gorgeous. I can put that with my shell collection. Oh, this looks like it's probably not real because, you know, because of eth ethical sourcing and stuff. But it looks like an ivory pendant. Very nice. Let's see. There's this little bag. Oh, there, um... Antique gold tone hands, <clears throat> excuse me, that are either pointing or just holding all the fingers up as if saying hello. And some of them have little gems on their cuffs. That's cool. Wonder what I'll do with those. What is that? Oh. It looks like an ornament, but it could be 
if I can hold it down, jewelry as well. It's super beautiful. Love the prism look to it. It looks like uh, either the really dark amethyst or smoky quartz. Very nice. I appreciate those of you that have stuck with me. It's an hour going now, and we still haven't even made much of a dent in this. Um, what is this? I don't know this stone. It's, uh, striated, and it has several colors. It may be a glass bead, because I don't think I've ever seen a stone like this. Whatever it is, I love it. Oh, another fairy bottle. Mm-hmm, I'll put that over here. And looks like hematite and malachite put into a bracelet. Very nicely done. I don't know who macramade these, but they're very good. I bet it's Trina. Oh, that's pretty. These stones, I can't even tell you. Let's see if I can... It's kind of bluish, purplish stones on an alligator clip. So, I can wear those in my hair. That's super nice. What else do we have? Okay, these are uh, jingly bells to attach to something. They've been magnetized because there's magnets running around in here. And then, <laughs> this is cute. It's a bat with an all-seeing eye. Look at that. It's Sauron. I see you. <laughs> and a glittery scully magnet. You're going to be like, great, stickers and magnets, thanks. <laughs> Talking to you, Tommy. Oh, sorry. <laughs> You're not even paying attention to the stream anymore, are you? I'm doing, I have multiple. Uh-huh. I'm putting the bells in the little bag that I found that had nothing in it. Oh, ah, that's pretty. A super glittery kissy lips pin. Oh my gosh, these are little, probably rhinestones and they're super I need to turn the camera because you guys can't see what I'm doing uh pull it back there bags in the box glitter no not quite glitter um huh I'm not sure what this is meant to be but it's very pretty uh it looks like it's been covered in nail polish so I love the shine that it has this looks like a pin. It is a pin. It's a skelly embracing a black cat. And then this, oh, a small collection of metal skulls in silver tone, gunmetal, lead colored, copper, and gold tones. Those are fun. Tommy, look at this octopus. Holy moly. That's pretty. Isn't that nice? Let's see, we're almost done with this bag. We've got another, um, what do you call them? Rubber eraser. This is a kitty cat. And his teeth are formed by the word hiss. <laughs> oh! Here's another one of those beads. It could be stone, but I think it might be glass. There, it's a kind of a rainbow striated. If any of you know what this is, please let me know because I can't. I've never seen it before, but it's super beautiful. Put down these. I'm just gonna put all these back in this bag when I'm done. So basically, I don't want to go through every single teeny tiny thing because we'll be here until next Tuesday if I do that. But I want to show you some of the prettiest pieces. Oh, <laughs> here's a shell that's been uh, rimmed in gold tone metal. I don't know if it's actual gold, but it's super beautiful. Let's see. This is fun. Pull these out. Oh, there's a matching uh, gator clip with the sparkly stones. Let's see if I can... Oh, there we go. <laughs> then more fairy bottles this one says eat me so I need to put some polymer clay figures that look like food Ooh, is this what I think it is it is this is a mother of pearl feather pin look at this Tommy 
Not gorgeous. Let's see. Ooh, that's nice. I'm just going to bring out all the stuff that I think you guys might enjoy seeing. So we're not here all night. <laughs> that's pretty too. Okay, so. We have... I'm not sure what stone this is. It might be glass. But it's very, very pretty. And then a key. It's got a somewhat of a heart shape. And it's wrapped in red and black wire. That's very pretty. And I want to say this is blue tiger's eye. I think there's another name for that. But it's wrapped in blue wire. It's hard to see on camera. Um, I'm not sure. This might be Jasper. And it has some symbols painted on it. Maybe Trina could tell me more about them later. It's very nice. Uh, I'm not sure what stone this is. Uh, let's see if I can get it to show up. It's very beautiful. Uh, I need to look up my stones because I'm not familiar with them. This... Could be carnelian, it could be a jasper wand, it's another hex double pointed. Citrine even, I'm not sure. I don't know all the names of the stones off the top of my head. So I'm going to put all the jewelry back in this bag. So it doesn't get lost. Or damaged. <laughs> That's the more important part, that it doesn't get damaged. Because it'll be safe wherever I leave it. And I need a drink of water because I've been talking for a very long time. Get in here. These are amazing pieces of jewelry, and I know that Trina has made the lion's share of them, so I'm just flabbergasted at her talent. And this over here, and I'll take a drink, and then we'll look through another bag. I see one that's got a few things in it. Oh, that's better. So this one looks like <laughs> pens that are shaped like bones wrapped with a skull the mask ribbon. It feels like flocked monk's claw, the ribbon, because, or even, what do you call it? Oh, my brain stopped. It's a kind of fabric, um, some kind of sack. Tommy, help me out. Uh, it's a coarse fabric. Kind of like you use for making grain sacks. I can't think of the name of it to save my life. It's not monk's cloth. It's um, burlap. Thank you. It looks like red burlap flocked with scully damask. Let me hold it up so you can see the skulls. Isn't that beautiful? So, and it's wired on both ends, so I can use it to make a wreath or any number of things. These pens, I gotta show you. So we have an arm. It's the... I think it's the ulna. I could be wrong. My bones are a little off right now, at least in my memory. And that should be a femur. And then we have a spine. <laughs> I love them. They're great. Let's see. Okay, that was that bag, so I'm just going to put these pens in there. And put this over here, and I'll put the ribbon over here. I think I had an empty bag, mostly empty bag, so I'll put the cookie cutters in that. Got to try and keep things organized, so it's just going to go to heck in a handbag. Uh, lots and lots of cookie cutters. I'm going to use these to make polymer clay jewelry, and resin jewelry, and... Uh, Christmas ornaments and Halloween ornaments, you name it, I'll do it. <laughs> Get these cookie cutters in here. For those of you that are just joining us, my friends in America, my very good gothic friends, have sent me a care package of craft supplies and beauty supplies and just all manner of gothy goodness. <laughs> so this bag... Ooh... 
has some scullies in it. Let's see what we have here. These are probably ornaments. It's a, um, I want to say rubber, perhaps, spider. And it has a gorgeous pendulum, or whatever you want to call that. I don't know what it's called specifically. Prism, perhaps. And so it's probably meant to hang in the window as a sun catcher. But it could work. Oh, they're actually two separate things that have been tied together. So yeah, there's the spidey. And here's the pretty prism. Very, very nice. Let's see if I can hold it closer so you guys can see. Set that there. I think... Oh, gosh, what's this? Uh, oh, it's trim. It's uh, rhinestones with a black backing. And there's a lot of it. So I'm just going to kind of detangle and wind it up. It was probably detangled at one point. <laughs> Something smells nice in here. I don't know what it is. Excuse me. Uh, it's not the incense. It's something else. There. That'll do. I'll put that over here with the feathers. Uh, oh, gosh. Lots more of these velour bags. So that's nice. Um, oh, there's something in that one. Here's a... I don't know if this is plastic or resin. I feel like it's plastic. A little scully. Put them in my collection. There's several of these. So I can actually paint them in different ways. Let's see what's in this bag. There's bags in bags in bags. Oh, wow. Here's more of these wands. But there's also... Uh, what is this? It looks like... A pair of lizards and if I'm not mistaken this is either a crow or a raven skull if you guys can see that and turn it and pull it down not sure but these I think these are bismuth wands uh, Brazilian bauxite I don't know what the pink ones would be but these feel like Bismuth. Tommy, can you peek? You'll have to come over because the camera does them no justice. He's over at his computer. Pick them up and feel them. Wouldn't you say that's bismuth? I don't know that. Well. You watched the video, didn't you, of the guy trying to get bismuth from pills? I have some up there in my collection. <laughs> Yeah. Super pretty. What? Oh, dag nabbit. I lost two of them. Okay. Oh, I see it. Uh, the other one may have fallen in the box. I will find it. My apologies for dropping them. I'm a bit of a butterfingers right now. Get these all safely back in the bag. So I'm going to find some wonderful uses for these. Uh, this is the bag I was working on, but I just found more of the black rhinestone trim, so I'm going to untangle that and put it over with the other. So yeah, I'll have craft supplies for a long time with this box. There. That over here with the other. So I'll get all these scullies out. Yeah, these are plastic, I think. They're not heavy enough to be resin. So there's four of these. Put them aside here. we got to be careful because it looks like there's some Velcro in here. And I don't want to mess up the trim. So there's a set of hook and... What is it called if it's not actually Velcro, Tommy? It's hook and something fabric. It's basically Velcro. Um, and then there's a swatch here of skull and crossbone ribbon. Very, very sparkly. I like that a lot. And then these are appliques that look like feathers or leaves, but I think they look kind of like wings, like a pair of black wings. 
Let me see if I can hold them up correctly. Yeah, because they're all attached. So I think, let's get over here where the camera can see. Oh, this is horrible. I'm going to turn the camera. <laughs> so, they look like a pair of wings. So I can sew these on the back of one of my creations. I really like that. I'll turn this back down to the box if I can. Uh, wrong way. That way. Awesome. Oh, I've wanted some of this fabric. I had to leave mine in the U.S. It's uh, spider web on organza. No, it's not organza either. It's a mesh. It's the tool mesh. But it's a very sparkly silver spider web fabric. The one I had in the U.S. had purple on the other side, purple spider webs. But this one just has the silver on the one side. So I'm so pleased to have some of that. Oh, wow. So this is uh, probably velvet, and it's a braided black velvet choker with rhinestone flowers on it. So that's really nice. Here's some more of the spider band that I found earlier. I don't know how well you can see the spiders. There we go. Hook and loop. Thank you. I don't know who Evilist One is, but I appreciate the input. It was hook and loop. Uh, ooh, some elastic I can use for masks and uh, it's thin enough for undergarments and that sort of thing. And ooh, got some purple on black sparkly bat ribbon in the same style of the skull and spidey ones. So, Evilist One, do I know you? Or are you just coming? It's Anna! Hello, Anna. She's another one of my goth friends. Now, Anna, if I remember correctly, you contributed something to this box, too. Can you tell me what it was? Oh, wow. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I thought it was all together. It's a whole bunch of these pretty little organza ribbons. Black ones. That's... <laughs> yeah, they're all over the place. Let's shake them out. What's this? <gasps> wow. I think this is like a... It could be a curtain. I think it might be. Or a valance or something. I'm going to turn the camera again. Oh yes! The Death Whistle! She, um... 3D printed an Aztec Death Whistle, if I remember correctly. So, take a look at this, Tommy. It's hard to... Because of the light, the way it hits it, but... It's spiders, and then it has, like, bats on the bottom. And then these loops up here. So I could definitely make it into a valance. We could put it over the doorway for Halloween. The archway in the kitchen. Between the ki whoops, there it goes. The kitchen and the hallway. <laughs> Sorry, for those of you that don't know, I tripped over the tripod last week and broke the camera mount. Wrong way. So I'm having a fight with the camera. Alright, what is this? This is a black lace with chains and green crystals. This is a creation by Trina Lockery. It's absolutely stunning. Let me see if I can hold it up correctly. There's a lot of chain. <laughs> so yeah, let's see if the camera will do any kind of justice. So these green are... Hmm... I'm not very good at describing this. It's very glittery. It's like nail polish glittery. It probably was covered with nail polish. And it's almost a pea green, a yellow greenish color. I'm, again, I'm away from the camera. So, um, but yeah, I think what I can do is combine some of these chokers that she made, because there's no way they'll fit me as is. But um, I can combine some of them and then I'll be able to wear them. And of course, some of these I might uh, MacGyver into other jewelry pieces. This feels like silk. Let's see here. Oh no, it's polyester. Ha, ah, it tricked me. But look at this. It's a webby scarf. I love it. <laughs> it's so pretty. I love it. Yeah. Okay. What do we have here? Oh, grommets! Gunmetal, I think. Antique brass, I'm mistaken. Let's see if you can see them. 
kind of hard to see. Yeah, there we go. So I've got some antique brass grommets. That'll be nice. And some... What do we call it? Basically that Barbie fabric that's been turned into a... Oh, my brain is not working. Bric-a-brac is super pretty. I'll find something to do with it. And there's two pieces. So I can line something around the edges. This is... Ooh. What on earth? Oh my god in heaven. Tommy, <laughs> look what they gave me. They're probably from Trina. Look at this, babe. Yeah. Uh-huh. Oh my god, this is gorgeous. I am so making something with this. Not like I wouldn't make anything with anything she sent, but <laughs> I'm I'm definitely putting that at the top of the list. Oh, I love this stuff. It's um organza, if I can open it. Which side is the correct side? And it's got I would say splatters of little metal pieces, so it's really sparkly. It's um I don't know what they are. They're just glued on little metal pieces that shine a lot. I love them. It's kind of like what I have for my uh, altar cloth for the tarot cards. Oh, there's two pieces of it, so that's nice. Very nice. So, oh, I almost missed something. There's something down here. Let's see how I can. Oh, oh, Tommy! I needed. Um, it's a glasses chain. You know how I've been telling you forever that I need one? She gave me one! And it's beautiful! Oh, you guys are so cool! I've been dying for a set of this and I haven't found any here. And then there's a felt scully. <laughs> you like my evil scully sound? I like it. <laughs> Let's get this in here. See if I can pick it all up. What did I thought? Oh, it was the grommets. Uh, hmm. <laughs> That's the trouble with these light, floofy fabrics. It's easier to take out than to put back in. <laughs> so. Let's see, that's jewelry, but that's the applique. So I'm trying to put light stuff together. There we go. And the bands can stay there. What have we here? Ooh, is this paper mache? I think it is. So it looks like a either a wall hanging or a window hanging of an onk and a six pointed star and a little prism. And on the back, it's like a nebula. I can't even get the camera to do it justice. My bad. It's super pretty. It's tones of purples and blues. It's very peacock ore looking. It's very nice, and I think it's paper mache. It feels like that, and I like that a lot. Oh, that's the fabric and over there with those. <laughs> There's a lollipop. It's a... <laughs> it's a twirly one. Oh, good one, babe. <laughs> I don't know if you guys could hear his pop, but he did a good one. Oh, what have we here? Yeah. Does it say what? Uh, oh, glasses. I need you. They look more like more hackle feathers, black ones, with green sheen to them. These are really long ones, so these will be good for hats and that sort of thing. Hat pins and all manner of things. These are beautiful. I had to leave most of my feathers behind, so I'm grateful for whatever feathers they sent. Because it's hard to find feathers here, oddly enough. The closest I can find them is England. And then again, I would be hit with those exorbitant import fees. Uh, what do we have here? This looks like a wig. Ooh, it is a wig. Let's take it out. Somehow. Where's the... Aha! <laughs> Gotta be smarter than the bag. Ooh, it's a bob. I love that kind. Page boy. It's very pretty. Let's see if I can shake it out. Mm -hmm. So I have a mannequin head 
foam head uh, that's currently sporting my witch's hat. And this wig will go right under that hat until I'm ready to wear it. Very pretty. Love it. I love this purple. <sighs> I'm not a purple person, but I can appreciate purple. Put you back in there. Please, poor please. Thank you, thank you. And then, I think, what does this say? Ah, uh, this dress is one I used to wear. I love these dresses. Try it to see if you like the pattern, and maybe you can adapt a pattern from it. Ooh, let's see what she gave me. Ooh. Yeah. So this is velour, and it's a long sleeve one again, but I can ruche that. And let's see if I can spread it out. <clears throat> yeah. Oh, it's a shorter dress. I love short dresses. So yeah, I can definitely make this work. And then I can draft a, pa a pattern from it and go wild, you know? Ooh, it's got darts and everything. Yeah. Thank you, Trina. It's really sweet of you to give me something that you love so much. Thank you, Stuart. Uh, for those of you that don't know, Slax is Stuart. He's my friend from England from way back. And uh, him is here, amazing seamstress and embroiderer. We have Sheila. I want to say Sheila does uh, resin art. And Anna is another of our goth friends, a very lovely lady. Uh, apologize if I'm not using the correct pronouns. And then, of course, uh, Dalmar Wolf is my husband, Tommy. So, these look like flower petals. Ah ha ha. Ooh. Let's see. Oh, so these are something that she was holding on to for me. And if I can open it, I can show you what they are. They're individual black rose petals. And I want to use them on the front of a black... Oh, there's several packs, apparently. <laughs> I thought it was one big pack. Um, I can use them on a dress or a blouse that I've got some ideas rolling around in my head. So I will be using those individual black rose petals for that purpose. And then there are all manner of loose flowers in here and then that might be another set of black rose petals yep i did order two packs but i i told her she could keep some for herself i guess she didn't want any but unless that they were really that many in one pack but um yeah so i have a surplus of black rose petals and i will definitely make use of those this is like a branch a floral plastic branch that's black and I wonder if it had flowers on it, because it has those little sticky out things that look like they used to have flowers on it. And there's loose black petals in here. Oh, what's this? Whoa. Uh -oh. <laughs> it's loose in there. Let me try and... Sounds like seed beads. Moon seeds. Huh. I don't know what moon seeds are. Anybody from my goth community that knows what moon seeds are, please let me know. I'm gonna take a look. Oh, -ho! I don't know. I will leave these sealed up until I can look into it and find out what moon seeds are. Sounds great. So, gosh, there's. All manner of gothy colored flower petals in here. It looks like there's some fabric. Let's see what I can... Oh, it's more roses and stuff. Yeah. Ooh, what is this? I think I found... Holy moly. One second. <laughs> Having a moment. It's a very large flower brooch with a mermaid. And it looks like two fuses for the hands on a clock. They're bigger than a fuse would look like, though. So I don't know what they're meant to be, but they're very beautiful. And the mermaid's outstanding. It's a pin back on here, 
but I think I might use it for my hair instead. I haven't decided. I might add an alligator clip to it so I can use it either way. I'm very certain that that, that was made by Trina because she's just amazing. Ooh. Purple. <laughs> so yeah, I will find a use for all these flower petals. You better believe it. Let's see. Put all these black ones aside. We have some escapees here. Oh, I found another lollipop. <laughs> ah, swirly lollipops. Industrial fuse. Thank you. I'm so glad you guys know what the hell I'm looking at because I'm a dodo bird. What do we have here? Oh my gosh. Guys, it's a bat ribbon. And it kind of looks like a film strip. I don't know how well you can see the detail shining on each the top here and the bottom there but it kind of like looks like film strip and it's a whole bunch of bats flying on it and it's a big spool of ribbon that's gorgeous what do we have here oh my gosh oh babe this is a pattern if, if you can look at the screen it's a pattern for a shirt for like uh, medieval styles and I can use it to make uh, satin blouses with. It's similar to the silk poet blouses that I used to wear when I was a teenager. What do we have here? Oh wow. These are... Oh! Sassy. Can't show that on public television. Um, <laughs> they look like classic book covers. And I'll turn the other side. I won't show you the inside because it's a little risque. The Vampire Curse. And it's a bookmark. It's a magnetic bookmark. Like the ones we got at the Blofarge. Uh, but, but, I can't talk to save my life. Uh, these are decorative borders that I can, um, roll, uh, polymer clay on. Or even fondant. And have decorative borders that I can use for like backings for pins and things like that. So that's pretty awesome. Yeah. <clears throat> Ooh. Look at this. It's a roll of black lace. It's a very big roll of black lace. Oh my god, you guys. I am seriously going to goth it up in here. <clears throat> set that aside what do we have here looks like some molds my big old fingers working we have Ooh, this is um stamps Ooh, they're stamps these are neat i just so happen to have a black stamp pad so that'll work and there's something stuck to the back of that Ooh, more stamps. <laughs> it's hard to see. It's stars surrounded by little filigree. And this one, it looks like a heart with butterflies on it. Really hard to show you there. That's the best I'm going to get. And those were sitting on the back of the package. We'll just put them back there. They were probably on that plastic piece there. Ooh. So this one is a heart with some swirlies. It's a stamp as well. My big fingers are in the way. And then we've got some roses and the word love. Um, yeah, very nice. Um, ooh, we've got bats and stars and the crescent moon so hard to show you guys i'm trying to get it to focus uh let's see what's this one that's two of them they're stuck together uh hmm so i'm not sure what the octopus i think oh that's herp -derp. so there's a big octopus stamp which is super pretty and then there's some there's a ship and the jolly roger the flag that's cool Get my pirate going on. Got some hearts. Ooh, bird cage. Very pretty. So just a whole bunch of beautiful stamps. I'll 
save a little time and just look through and see if there's anything in particular that you guys might be wowed by as much as I am. We'll look through here real quick. Yep, some decorative borders and some pretty flowers. Yep. More bird cages. What is this? Hmm. Oh, it's a word. It says boo. <laughs> so there's flames, a tiny octopus, a skull surrounded by roses, and the word boo in black cloister font, I want to say. Oh, yeah, it shows up much better on camera. That's a first. That's really cool. So, yeah, now I have a whole bunch of stamps. Awesome. Let's see, I have a big spool of ribbon. Ooh, black satin. I ordered this one. So this one's double-sided satin. You can see how much, uh, how much there is on the spool. So that's going to help me a lot with my designs. Um, what have we here? It looks like velour. I love me some velour. Purple. Oh. Ah, oh, this is a rich purple color. Look at this. It doesn't even do any justice on the camera. It looks bluish, but it's actually a really rich purple. Isn't that nice? Mmm, I love me some blue. <laughs> you guys spoiled me rotten, for heaven's sake. I'm going to have to make a ton of gifts and just ship them all to Trina and say, please hand these out. <laughs> right? Uh, for those of you just joining, I am unboxing a care package from my gothic friends in Idaho, and they're all amazing. Look at these cookie cutters. That's not cute. They make cakes, you know, little cakes, like really big pedophores. <laughs> Let's see, I have the cookie cutters over there. Uh, empty bag. That was from the velour. Let's see if I can get them. There's little, ooh, these are glass beads. That are black with copper. Let's see if I can show them all. They're kind of because of the bag, but if I take them out, I'll drop them. I wish I could do justice to these amazing jewelry Ooh. supplies. Ooh, I like this a lot. So this is a. I'm gonna put it on my wrist. A stretchy metal. Uh, it feels ethnically it's inspired. And it's possibly 80s style. It's kind of that bone that, almost like a pork rib type bone. I don't know what the technical term is, but I love it. God, it's beautiful. <laughs> I'm putting on all the sparklies. Hmm. I'm not finding that second wand I dropped, but we are halfway through the box, it looks like. Oh, this was one of those, um vacuum seal bag. There we go. Um, see if I can open it. It doesn't have the unzip thingy. <laughs> Sorry about that. Oh, I think this is a bunch of black organza. Whoa, so shimmery it is. Whoa. Ha <laughs> ha Look at all that organza! Man, so nice. Yeah, so I can make some petticoats with this and also use it to make trim on garments. Oh, stay over there. I'm going to put all the fabric that way. Let me turn the camera a smidge so you're looking more at the contents of the box and not my messy living room. My stay bag. <laughs> all right, this looks like more organza and some more velour. So let's peek. Hmm. Duct tape. <laughs> oh, boy. There we go. And... Yeah, it sounds awful. I apologize if it's so loud. Uh, let's see. Big fingers. See if we can get them to cooperate. Eh, not helping. There, got it. So this looks like more of that black organza. They probably divided it up. Goodness sake, come on. <laughs> it started to come out the center of the bolt. It's actually seems different. 
The other one seems sparklier. I think that that's meant, the first one was meant to be a black sparkle. Let me set out this black organza. And then look at this one. Ah, see if I can pick it up. Wouldn't you say that the one here, well, where's my hand? Down here. <laughs> oh yeah, no kidding. I'll know I will never get it back in the bag. She is amazing. Uh, so I think this is the sparkly black organza, and this is the standard, because the weave is different. And so it gives a different, it makes us shimmery. And I like that. So I'll probably use this organza for the petticoat, and use this kind for the trim. So, for whatever I'm making. I feel like I now have to make one of those big long flowing robes that you can walk through the haunted mansion with and go and run into the library and sit on the fainting couch oh this is a whole bunch of beautiful blood red velour it looks tomato red on the screen base and overlay exactly oh my god this is a gorgeous red i wish the camera would do it justice it's like dracula cape red <laughs> it's so beautiful i can make like a little red riding hood cape out of it I actually have a um, a bonnet that I've crocheted that is red roses on black background. It's Irish lace, and I need I want to make a cape using the bonnet. The ones you cannot buy every anywhere, right? So, um, the organza actually comes from Gifts International out of California. And it's for weddings. You can get all manner of colors for organ organza by the bolt from this store. And it's like 18 yards of this fabric. So, ooh. I see a lot of cool patterns in here. Let's see what it's meant to be. Open up. Come on, you know you want to. Okay. There we go. Let's see. Deluxe venue decor. Oh, it's a tablecloth. Ooh. Tommy. Look at this. Ouch. My hair is catching on my bra strap. This is a uh, purple organza. Oh, wow. Oh, it's so washed out on the screen. That's awful. At least on my screen. It looks better on Tommy's. It's a really rich purple. It looks washed out on mine. And his, mm, kind of like a periwinkle over there, but it's really, in real life, it's a, just a beautiful purple organza. I think this is also from Gifts International, but I didn't want to get a whole bolt of it. So I picked this up, but I could be wrong because it's been over a year since I ordered some of this stuff. Oh my lord. Okay. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> oh, I still got more in the other bag. <laughs> Sorry. Um, oh, you know, I was talking about the spiderweb fabric that was purple on one side and silver on the other. She found some. Look at that. Silvery on this side, purpley on that side. It's not very big, but you better believe I'll find a use for it awesome they don't make it anymore i don't think because i haven't seen it in the online store and she didn't see it in the physical store so ooh, on earth is this a table no it's a i think it's a nightgown hmm whoa it's a robe <gasps> tommy i've been wanting a robe forever it looks like it's been used partially as fabric i don't know but I can make it into an amazing robe. Looks like it has pockets. <gasps> it has pockets. You guys. Okay, so this is weird. All the reds on my screen look tomatoey red. <laughs> None of them are tomatoey red. They're blood red. Like crimson. Oh yeah, on your screen it looks right, but on my screen it looks tomatoey red. Ooh, what is this? Holy moly. Babe, a new shawl. Let me see if I can spread this out. Ugh. Oh, wow, you guys, look. Oh, lush. 
How about that? Oh my god. I also collect shawls. I collect shawls, fans, skulls, dragons, and angels. And crows, of course. So, and books, because you know, retired librarian. <laughs> this is gorgeous. Oh my god. Oh, let's see. What else is in this bag? Ooh, 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 ooh. Babe, look at this. Let's see if we can see. Right? Yeah. Wow. And it's the... Let me open it up just a smidge if I can. Just to show you. It's a sheer mesh. It's a sparkly mesh. <gasps> Gonna make some pretty blouses. Yeah. Setting all the fabric up here. It's gonna topple down at any moment. What do we have here? Oh, cute. Um, I think... Oh, it's two pieces. It's a brocade, I want to say. Yeah, they're two pieces. Again, the color is not correct on my camera, but it probably looks better on Tommy's. Oh, it does. Um, These are... Oh, they're so rich. They're tapestry feeling. So I'm going to do some really cool stuff with that. Oh, fun! Look at this! It's a little fat quarter almost. It's not big enough, but it's square. <laughs> That'll be great for pride. Where'd that bag go? Did I empty it already? Huh. Oh yeah, here it is. Yeah, so there's a whole bunch of little scraps in here. It looks like flannel spidey webs, or rather spideys. And, oh, more of these velour bags, velvet bags, whatever they are. Oh, what is this? I think it's a, it's a hooded veil. Yeah. I wonder if this was her, like, wedding veil or something. Let me put this down here. Oh, God, I'll just turn the camera up. I'm tired of fighting with the camera. So look at this. It's like... A tool, black tool headdress with black roses all around it. And it's got an elastic band. I'm trying to find, I think it's, yeah, it's all the way around. So, wow, that is special. I am so thrilled by that. You have no idea. I don't have words. Um. Oh, there's another bag in here with probably stones. Let's see. Maybe some wands again. Yep, more of these wands. So, let me turn the camera back down. They're just gorgeous. I don't know where she gets them, but I love them. Very nice. I will add them to my stone collection until such time I want to incorporate them in jewelry. So let's go back to the box. And put all this fabric in here that I can. There was also, oh, my new bracelet caught on my blouse. The blouse I'm wearing, by the way, is an original design. These are little metal beads glued on, so you can't really tell. Let me see if I can hold it closer. Yeah, now you can see. They're copper colored. They look gold on my screen. But they're skull and crossbones done with teeny tiny little metal beads. That is really cute. And it's actually the right size for a um, bandana, I guess. Like the pirates wear under their hats. So I might do something with that. I don't know when Talk Like a Pirate Day was. You don't think it was a wedding veil. You've seen it, but you haven't seen it. You don't think it was a wedding veil. Huh. Well, if Trina manages to come on, I'll remember to ask. If I don't remember to ask, will you help me remember to ask? I'm awful. I definitely want to make a robe of some kind out of this. It is gorgeous. So, come on. <laughs> there we go. Ooh, wow. Okay, come on. Yep. Ooh, there's some uh, purple crin in here. I can make some more dreads. Cyber dreads. This is taped down to try and help 
maximize space out in the box. And it's pulling on my arm hairs because it's really good tape. <laughs> Sorry about the noise. I do have a noise filter on my mic, but it's tape. <laughs> Crinkle that up. <gasps> Let go of me. I do not want to whack the hard way. <laughs> All right. Let's see. So, ah, yeah. Ooh. Oh, chenille stems and a um a brush for dyeing my hair. I'm still off screen. There. So, a brush for dyeing my hair, ratting comb, and um the chenille. Oops, there it goes. Ah, I'll have to pick it up later. The chenille stems are great for um felting. I do a lot of needle felting with uh, roving, wool roving, and these are great for armatures to set inside to give the figurine shape. So that's amazing. This is a beautiful plum-colored spider web organza. Let's see, it doesn't want to focus. You kind of can see the spider webs. I love this color. It's almost like a dusty plum. I love it. There we are. Ooh, there's green crin too. So, got some green crin tubing. I would say size small. Not mini, but small. I have seen in here more tubing, but we'll have to get to that. Oh. Mommy. Oh, this is beautiful. Let me set it out. Look at this. Oops, you're on the wrong screen. Isn't that gorgeous? It's a very soft lace shawl. I'm going to try not to snag it on the cardboard. Super pretty. Very soft. I love it. Huh. <clears throat> it looks like a Day of the Dead skull, sugar skull drawstring backpack. That's freaking awesome. I'm going to use this as a yarn bag. To carry my projects in when I'm out and about crocheting and knitting when I get to go back out and about. <laughs> this is great. Let's see. Ooh. Ooh. I think this is another shawl. This one has skulls. And what's going on with it? Oh, I think it's just a dot. It's a big shawl. So, which is good because I'm a big woman. Um trying to unfold it. Come on, you know you want to. <laughs> okay, look at these scullies. Try and hold it up a bit. Come along. There. Yeah. So, <clears throat> more shawls for my collection. And I do wear them. I don't wear them often, but I do wear them. Ooh. What is this? I think this is meant to be like blood streaked gauze. It's thicker than gauze, though. <clears throat> Not by much, so. Huh. It's ruched here. Or maybe it's snagged. It looks like ruching. <laughs> Works for me. Um, It's a tube, so I'm not sure if it's meant to be part of a skirt or what it's meant to be but i like it so i will find a use for it that's for sure i like the pattern Ooh, this is fascinating oh my gosh babe this looks like a handmade journal isn't that pretty it's uh I don't know if it's leaves. It looks like leaves. And the the pods, the locust tree. Oh, it's a ghost infinity scarf. Cool. I'm so glad she knows what this stuff is. Mm -hmm. Um, it looks like it's been uh bound in leaves and bark. And it has a very organic looking paper. A very nice it feels like a hundred percent cotton rag. I wouldn't be surprised if it was, but yeah, I'm keeping this for special. This might become one of my grimoires. 
This is absolutely stunning. I wouldn't I wouldn't put it past Trina if she was the one that made it. Because she's just that amazing. Let's see here. Ooh. Look at this. <laughs> Let's see if I can lay it out. I'm not sure what she's holding. It looks like a rose. I've got it upside down, so I can't tell. I'm trying to show you guys. Ah, come on, get off the cardboard. Hmm. Trying to get it in the shot. Maybe I'll tilt the camera up a smidge. Yeah, now. I'm I'm betting dollars to donuts that Trina painted this. She's got more talent in her little pinky than most people have in their entire bodies. Look at that. I love it. Gonna wear it because it's my size. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, oh. The heck? <laughs> we have rabbits and uh, a piece of hay fell down my blouse. <laughs> That's the bun life. Oh gosh. Let's see if I can get this out. Oh, come on. <clears throat> Holy mackerel. Okay, this is faux husky fur. Isn't that so pretty and soft? What do you think, my love? Isn't it? It's nicer. It, it, you can tell it's fake because it's softer than an actual husky. My brother-in-law has two huskies, and they're not that soft. Oh, it could be a paintbrush. I hadn't thought of that. Talking about the tank top with the skeleton on it. But yeah, this is... Oh my gosh. So this is from, I think, Fabric.com. And... How much did I order? I don't even remember. It's been so long ago. Uh, Trina's been hanging on to this for me. But I want to trim some capes with this. I also want to use some of it as photo backdrops for jewelry that I make and things like that. Bucky says his is better. Uh, would Bucky be your husky? <laughs> I don't want to insult any humans there, but not that being a dog is an insult. Dude, being a dog would be awesome if you have a good family. But yeah. There's enough of this here, goodness sake, that I could trim a cape, have some for a photo backdrop, and have enough to make a jacket with. There's that much. Ah, Sweetie doggo! Love me some doggos. Oh, of course, now I won't be able to fold it. That's what I get for unfolding it. Oi. Mm, nope. <laughs> I'll try. Stop it! Oh my god! Fur everywhere! And it's not even real! It's not even real! Oh god. <laughs> Look at this. Help! Tell me standing up so he can fold it for me. You know, I could make an another pillow. He has a... Is it meant to look like husky or is it meant to look like wolf? I thought so because of the coloring. He's got a pillow that... Halo. I'm never gonna get sick of Sorry, um, eventually. Let me just show you guys here. Um, yeah. <laughs> That's more than half of the box, though. Um, so yeah, that pillow there is his wolf pillow, and I can make a matching husky one, so that'll be cool. Hey, we're almost done. I can see the bottom of the box. There's more black rose petals, so she must not have kept any for herself. <gasps> She's too good to me. Oh, is there more? There's more in here. I'm a ding guy. I forgot. <laughs> There's the... Oh, oh, what's this? What? Oh! So, this is the mold, probably, that she used to make the bird skull pendant. It doesn't look exactly the same, so maybe she didn't make the other one. But this is definitely a bird skull mold. It'd be interesting to know which bird, but <laughs> there's nothing on the package to indicate. So here's the pretty purple crin, and it's actually closer to magenta than purple, but it's the same size as the green. Almost to the bottom of the bag. What do we have here? Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, crap. Tommy, help! <laughs> well, uh a whole bunch of stuff fell out of this. I think it's a bag. Whoops, it's a bag. Okay. 
better, it's a nightcap. Well, no. I need a help. So this is a beautiful, multi-layered, possibly reversible, either a hat or a bag. Just hold it open, and I'll pick up the stuff I dropped if I can. Guy, yeah, you're you doing the dropping more of it. It's not the bag. That's true. But, okay, let me set this down. Sorry, technical difficulties. Smoke them if you got them. <laughs> One, two, three, and four. <laughs> there. So, multicolored grommets. Like, there's a whole bunch of them. And thank you, babe. This beautiful bag, possibly nightcap, not sure. Move the camera. You got it. Um. Yeah. Let's see if that'll work. So, this is the... It looks like it has lots of pockets. So that's really cool. I have no idea. I think it's a bag. I'm not sure. Um, these look like stickers. They might be temporary tattoos. They've got some... There's a alt Ariel, I think. Kind of looks like her. And a lot of Harry Potter. Oh, they are stickers. Good. And she says it's a jewelry bag. That's good. I need one of those. Uh, yeah, that's the bag I was in. Didn't mean to dump it, but I didn't know it was open. Um, oh, they've got Flame Princess from, uh, what's it called? Adventure Time. And I don't know what this cat-looking thing is, but I know it's from Adventure Time. And then, oh, a lovely tattooed lady. And she's got a scully look this one somebody's falling without a parachute i guess <laughs> it's a row skull mold what's row what do you mean by row the midwest garrison ha <laughs> stormtrooper <laughs> new hope <laughs> see if i can put it where the camera can see it Crow! Oh, sweet, it is a crow skull. Awesome, I can do lots of cool stuff with that. Let's see. So Trina has joined us now. Her name is Auntie Mame in the chat. Please say hello. She is largely responsible for this amazing collection of goodies. Here's another lovely shawl. And it's Scully's. <laughs> Sitting in the store at the pharmacy. That works. So, Slacks is Stuart, Delmar Wolf is my husband Tommy, uh, Kim, I don't remember your username, I'm so sorry, um, is, was in here, um, trying to think of who else, uh, Anna is in here, the evilest one, and Sheila was in here, and I don't remember Sheila's username either, my huge apologies for all that. It's a lot to remember. We've been going on... We're on two hours now, and I'm almost done. Oh my god. Look at this. Ugh, what the heck? This is gorgeous. Oh my god. It's It's got fringe on the bottom. It's a cardigan. It's a lace cardigan. Oh my goodness. How gorgeous. Wow. Oh, you guys. I'm, like, super lucky. Ah! Don't catch on it! My blouse that I've made. Nothing on this. Oh, is this two shawls or one? It's one, I think. It's a fringed shawl. Oh, no, it's a poncho! I freaking love ponchos! I'm gonna put it on right now. I don't care that it doesn't match what I'm wearing. <laughs> I'm put this baby on. Ooh! So it's like, spread it out, it's got feathers and black fringe, and up top, more feathers, but they're red. Oh, this looks so good on me. Oh, you can secure the side. Gosh, I think I'm wearing it backwards, because this side feels longer than the other one. Take it off. Avoiding my flower crown. Let go. Victory! Thank you. Yes, it is. It's super silky and shiny. I love it. Thank you. I have knocked my crown askew, people. 
yeah, one side is shorter. Yeah, I put the long side on front because herp a derp. <laughs> uh, what do we have here? Oh, more stickers. It looks like some jewelry. Oh. Yeah, that's good jewelry. So I'll put the stickers in the jewelry bag. If I can gather them all up before them turn forth. There, that's that. What's the bag over here? Um, wow. This looks like Hematite and Tiger's Eye on memory wire. So it can be a necklace or a bracelet. I love that. And, ooh, wow. I think this is a bit tangled. Hmm, yep. There we go. This is a huge medallion with a chain hanging from the bottom with a cap on it. See if I can show you guys the, yeah, enamel. Very pretty. I love big flashy jewelry. Being a crow, we love shinies. Tuck the jewelry and stuff in to save space. Right on. Works for me. This looks like hematite and gold tone seed bead necklace. And it's actually long enough that my big neck can fit it. Oh, I love it. Are you kidding? Everything that I've found in here, I've loved. There isn't a single thing in here I didn't love. Um, I think these are glass, but they could be plastic. They feel, hmm, it's hard to say. They might even be crystal. I'm going to see if I can show them to you on camera, Trina. Maybe you can identify them. <laughs> the trouble is they're the same color as my skin. These um, sparkly beads here, they're pinky, very pale pink. So, are they glass or are they crystal? What are they? Oh, I dropped some stickers and I found a pendant. There's a pendant sitting. Oops, there goes the tripod. Ooh, Aurora glass. Cool. Let me see if I can reach. Okay, we've got some. Oops, come back here. Bag nabbit. <laughs> That's not coming back. Sorry, guys. <laughs> it's um, two different colors of graveyard fabric. I like this one a lot. And then this one is like nearly desaturated. So I can do some quilty stuff with that. That's going to be beautiful. Let me see if I can retrieve the fabric. Oh, there's a sticker I didn't see. <laughs> it's Darth Vader using a hula hoop. I love it. <laughs> yeah, AB glass. Mm -hmm. I love AB shine on any glass. Ooh, this is very vintage style. Kind of, uh, what's the word I look for? Metaphysical is the best word I can come up with. So I like that a lot. That could be a panel in a bag. Okay, so I can't reach the pendant unless I take this bag out and pick the box. Is that, oops, there it goes. <laughs> Sorry, one moment. <laughs> okay, box, go over there. <laughs> go away. Now, where'd that pendant go? There it is. It's a prism, rather, not a pendant. <laughs> or a little, although it could be a pendant. That's super pretty. And that too has the AB shine. Ooh, it's so shiny it's hard to show up. Masks or quilts? Oh yeah, for sure. Uh, there's a Stormtrooper DJ sticker. Let's see if my camera will. There we go. And a stray flower petal. So then, one last bag. You guys are amazing for sticking with me for all of this. Yeah, fortune teller style. Ooh, nice. That looks like... Oh, yeah, these are goodie bags for, like, Halloween party. Oh, there's another list here. It says, don't be a basic witch. Ooh, hoo, hoo. I love notepads. You weren't here for it, but I love notepads because I write notes all the time. So thank you for these. I'm going to put it in with the other notepads. And little goodie bags for, like, grab bags or... um. Halloween treats if we're having a Halloween party. 
I'm try and make them all face the same way because I'm like that. <laughs> oh, more rose petals. More of the black rose petals. I definitely have enough to make. Oh, yeah, they will be. I'm going to use the, all the flower petals for clothing, so that's going to be outstanding. Um, oh, here's more of this uh, dusty plum spiderweb organza. I really like this stuff. Um, it's hard to show you the spider webs though. Mm, there, with my hand behind it, you can kind of see it. But yeah, this is super pretty. Yeah, it, it's I'm gonna be making so many outfits from all of this and accessories. What have we here? Here, um, oh, odds and ends. Cool. Um, some sparkly moon and stars on, uh, mesh, it looks like. Oh, wow, what a deal. That is a lot of rose pet or petals, period. Oh, babe, it's a bandana with scullies on it. I love it. Very nice. Let's see. Lots of lace, black lace. Oops, I'm dropping odds and bobs here. Oh, I think it's another bandana. Ooh, this one's roses with paisley. <gasps> so pretty. Yeah. I love bandanas. Um, and then some red uh, organza. Wee bit of that. So that's nice. Whoa, that looks tomatoey red. Sorry, guys. Um, one more. Ooh, this is like. It's barbed wire. Let's see if I can hold it still. With skulls and flowers and flames and crossbones on it. That's really cool. <clears throat> and the bag's falling on me. So Trina, if you want, I can ship these bags back to you when I send the shawl I made you. That way you can have your bags back. Let's see. Ooh, ooh. This is yarn. <gasps> oh, man. Look at this yarn. It's like, it looks like bric-a-brac, the braided uh, trim, and it has sequins in it, but it actually looks like yarn. That's neat. And there's like a whole skein of it. I'm going to find something cool to do with that. Here's more of the plum spiderweb organza. Very nice. Oh, look at this. It's a snake skin purse. I love it. So pretty. Silky metallic spiderweb. Yeah, you had a scrap of it, so that'll work for me. What do we have here? Something protected by this fabric, it feels like. Be very careful. <gasps> is this it? I think this is it. Tommy, this is the Aztec death whistle. It's, let me try to hold it up closer. So, this is a replica of a whistle that Aztec warriors would blow that supposedly makes the sound of humans screaming in terror. No, I won't blow it now. <laughs> oh, that's all right. Save the best for last, right? Um, so I don't know, are you supposed to blow through the little slits in the back or do you blow from the top? You do not blow now. Yeah, I read that. I'm just wondering where, uh, oh, does he? <laughs> Ooh, this is a scarf, I think, an infinity scarf. Wow, that's gorgeous. <gasps> Top and put the fingers in the slits. Oh, okay. So, hmm, kind of like that, would you say? I got my thumbs over them and then just blow through the top. Huh, fascinating. I love the design. This is definitely one for my collection. Thank you. Yeah, I knew what you meant. <laughs> uh. Okay, what else is in here? Ooh, I think more jewelry goes. <gasps> Look at this barrette, Tommy. Let's see if I can bring it close enough so you can see all the detail. Isn't that beautiful? And now that my hair is getting longer, I can wear it and show it off. 
You love to play with placement. It changes for everyone. Huh. That's fascinating. I, I will definitely give it a try. Ooh, what have we here? Get a couple of things tangled a bit. Oops. Some loose thread. There. So we have more of these pretty um, prisms. My brain couldn't work anymore. Let me lower that so you can see the whole thing. I imagine Trina made these. She's so talented. Awesome. Cool. I will put them back. That was the last things in this bag. I can put the loose jewelry in here too. And the ribbon. I love all these bits of ribbon that you gave me. I had the barrette for about 15 years. Too smooth and won't hold it even when it's long. Yeah. Uh if I do a French twist, which is where you gather your hair at the base of your neck, twist it up and tuck it under and then wear the barrette around it, it's so much mass that it will stay put. So if I get it to work, I will take have Tommy take pictures. I don't think I can take pictures of the back of my head. I tried. <laughs> but um, if I get it to work, I will let you know. And I'm grateful that you gave it to me because it's probably very special for you. Uh, quick question. Did you make these uh, this glasses... I forget what the heck they're called. You slip them over your glasses so you can uh, have the chain on your neck and you can have the glasses off, but then you can put them right back on. Yeah, I know how that goes. When I moved out here to Norway, she's talking about uh, having to get rid of stuff. Uh, everything I owned that I had accumulated in 40 years could fit in the bathroom with room to spare. Yeah, you've made tons of this jewelry, and it's all gorgeous. Let's see. We have some pretty sparkly red pistol there. And another one. Yep. So I can wear two of them at a time. Those will look good with the blood drop tattoos. Ooh. This is another one of those wire-wrapped keys. Then I can make earrings. Um, ooh, wow. This is pretty. This green prism, I'll have to take it out of the bag because there's no way you'll see that on camera. But this prism uh, makes me think of emeralds, just from the clarity. Let's see if I can... Oh, the camera is not going to do it justice. It's a rich emerald green. Yeah, I figured you made the key. I saw one before when I was unpacking other stuff. And yeah, she's so talented. It's ridiculous. Let's see. So there's more little keys and odds and bobs in here. And then there's a couple of bags here. Oh, maybe you can tell me since you're here. I'm going to try and get this out without dropping everything. Put this in here. Is this glass or is it a stone? And if whatever it is, can you tell me uh, what it's called? Lucite. Cool. I don't have any lucite in my collect. Whoops, there it goes. Sorry about that. I don't have any, didn't have any lucite in my collection. Wait a minute, lucite. Isn't that a... It's kind of like plexiglass? That sounds familiar. Older than that. Older than us. Bakelite. Okay. Now I know what you're talking about. I'm trying to... Babe, I dropped this piece of loose eye. Can you come get it for me? I'm sorry. Okay. Oh, there's another skein of this yarn. I love this yarn! Oh my gosh, I think I can make some gorgeous trim with it to wear with shawls or scarves or hats or um, capes or any number of things. And then it looks like we've got some fat quarters here of spooky fabric. You can do some quilting with that. <laughs> Dino skellies. 
Ooh, nice. And then, oh my goodness. This feels like polyester. And it's, it's closer to plum than anything else I can think of on my screen. It kind of shows up, I don't know, kind of a brownish. But it's actually closer to a purple, a plum. And I like it a lot. So, let me put it over there. Don't fall down. Okay. Oh, and then some purple velour. If it looks... No, this is the plum satin. Yeah. I ordered... Um, I don't see the black satin yet. I ordered some black satin. Is it in here, or is it just... Didn't make it? It was supposed to be with the black rose petals. But, oh, it's sliding. Don't you do it. <laughs> Yeah, I saw that. Yeah, this is the plum satin that I ordered. But I also ordered a small amount of black satin from Amazon. And I don't think it made it. <laughs> Sorry, it's not. But every freaking thing else under the moon was in here, so... Um, I must not have read when I asked if you want your um, space-saving bags back. Do you want those back? That's actually the end. We've gotten to the end. All this fabric and all these craft supplies, they are amazing. <laughs> right? Okay, if you're sure. Because I can definitely send them back with the shawl. Oh, I love the crin. And this is gorgeous. Oh my gosh. You know I can wear this, Tommy, with the red and black dress that I have that I wore when we went to Oslo that one time in the picture over there on the wall. So that would be, because it's red, and this is a more wine-colored red than the dress, but I think it'll still work. So, ah, oh, I have so many new ideas now. Ah, the husky, faux husky fur is flying everywhere. <laughs> yes, I, it really is, and I'm so grateful for the massive variety of craft supplies you've given me. I'm going to turn the camera up towards me now since we're at the end of the unboxing. Uh, <laughs> you can see that it stacks up higher than my couch, all this goody stuff. Um, wish list. Uh, gosh, I don't know. You've given me just about everything under the moon, but uh, hmm. I don't know if you can find the black satin. That'd be swell. Other than that, I'm pretty much covered for a long time. <laughs> You mean Krylon? That's too expensive. I would never ask for that. Good idea, though. Uh, oh, I can always use more material. <laughs> I'm glad you know where it is. And oh, sorry, mom. Bad mom. Hoo -hoo. <laughs> but yeah, I can always use more material. I'm always doing stuff. Sewing, knitting, crocheting, you name it. I can make curtains. Um, I actually think that I'll use some of this velour to make some blackout curtains for the bedroom because... Oh, no, 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 not Krylon, not Krylon, Cryolon. It's body paint. Uh, the, what material was expensive? Uh, none of this was very expensive. Um... Oh, the Krylon? Yeah, that's body paint stuff like Ben Nye, um airbrush paint for your body that sort of thing um but it's super expensive and we haven't found a place we can buy it that isn't super expensive <laughs> because we have an airbrush now with three different sizes of wells and i really want to get into that uh tommy bought me some alginate so i can make a cast of my face so i can start making monster masks to wear whenever i want to go with the amazing clothing that i'm gonna make so <laughs> It's going to be the whole package. Thank you. It's a lucite bead right between the wicker basket and the flower basket. And then I dropped a wand somewhere down here. It might be under the couch. Oh, I think it actually landed in the bag. <laughs> it did. I have a bag on the floor. And this landed right in it. Let's see if I can hold it up high enough. What is this? Is this uh, Brazilian bauxite? These wands? I'm trying to get on the camera there. It's uh, It's got that peacock color of bismuth. 
And there are different shapes of wands. There, Some of them are double-ended and some of them are just uh, chipped off at the end like this one. And this one has a hole drilled through it. I really feel like it's uh, bismuth. So I'm wondering if you can tell me what it is. And now that she's on here, I'm going to ask her a whole bunch of questions. <laughs> no kidding! Huh! I wondered why some of it looked a little crystalline. That's fascinating. Oh, well, thank you for so much of it. I really love it. It's going to go great with the rest of my collection. Um, let's see. Questions I had. Um... Well, I probably shouldn't have set that on top of my external hard drive. <laughs> Magnets. Um, I've got them sitting up here so I can remember to ask. We figured out those were industrial electrical fuses. Um, did you make not this one? I know you made this one. Did you make this uh, choker that's braided velvet? I got to turn my camera down a little so you can see. Uh, braided velvet with rhinestones oh well it looks like something you would have made it's super pretty i really love it and these bats man they're everything <laughs> i love them i can't wait to figure out what i'm gonna put them on so yeah that was the unboxing that was a massive amount of craft supplies and i couldn't be i can't express properly how grateful i am for my goth friends especially trina lockery She's the sister of my soul, basically. I don't mean to be dramatic, but I have a whole bunch of living sisters that are blood-related and half-blood-related and step-related, but she's the sister of my soul. So, Trina, I miss you immensely, and I'm so, so grateful that you got all this stuff together, managed to pack it like a pro. Uh, oh, yeah, the, the uh, tank top. With the, with the uh, skeleton on it, the female skeleton, she was holding, I wasn't sure if it was a rose or a paintbrush. Can you tell us what it is? It is a great way to rescue old rhinestone jewelry. I've done that a lot. <laughs> Paint it. it is a paintbrush. We knew you painted it. I could tell it was you. But we couldn't tell if it was a rose or a paintbrush, so good to know. And it, and it looks like it'll fit me just fine, so that's awesome. Um, I don't know if you've seen... This blouse that I'm wearing, I made this one. It's my own design. It's got, they're clear plastic straps with rows of rhinestones on them. And I've made little loops so that I can take them off when I go to wash it so it doesn't tangle up and mess up the blouse. Um, it's got, I can't really show you, kind of show you. It's a little owly. It's kind of a coppery owly with rhinestones on it. And then um, it's a scarf hem, so it's triangular. That's my tummy. <laughs> scarf in, and I used black ribbon, black satin ribbon, to trim the hem with. So this is an original. It slides up every now and then. And I put these little, I think these ones are meant to be antique silver looking uh, caps on the ends of the ribbon up here. It's a faux corset. Obviously, it's not a corset, but it has the crisscrossing. <gasps> yeah, I made this last summer to wear for our anniversary trip to Bergen, which is in northern, is it? No. No. Western? Yeah. Sorry. Western Norway. Well, there's coast up north. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. I'm glad you like it. Um, I, I Most of my dress designs, honestly, come to me in my dreams. <laughs> I just had a dream the other night where I'm going to take some sparkly blue velour that uh, Tommy's mom bought for me this Christmas and make myself an off-the-shoulder, um, very poofy, kind of 70s looking uh, blouse, but it'll have cutouts in the shape of skulls, which I will back with appliques made from broomstick lace. And I haven't decided... Oh, it's nice. I didn't know it was of you. And yeah, Calaveras. You were you almost have it. <laughs> cool. Um Oh, what's going on here? I'm trying to pop out. Um the dress. The skulls are broomstick lace. 
I haven't decided if I want to go with an actual skull color or if I want to go with a uh, blue that's lighter. So, hmm, let's see. About this color of blue, and oh, it's not doing it in any justice on my screen. What does it look like over there? Oh, yeah, good. So this color of blue for the skulls, or else the cream bone, bleached bone color for the skulls. And there'll be three of them, big, medium, small, on the arm of the blouse. <sighs> cool. Do you have any pictures? I'd love to see them. I, I never got to meet her when I, if, during my formative youth. I got to meet her when I was already, oh, 2005. Yeah, that was shortly before I met you. So, yeah. She she and a whole bunch of our other goth friends were the only reason I made it out of Idaho alive. I laugh. It's not funny. But, you know, if it hadn't been for my goth friends, I would have been gone by now. So, I'm really grateful. Awesome. You met her in 2003. I'm not sure when I met Ginger. I think it was 2006. May have been 2005, but I think it was 2006. Um, Red Empress, all of our friends, you guys kept me alive, and I couldn't do it without you, so I'm super grateful. Thank you for all the amazing craft supplies, and the fabrics, and the cookie cutters, and just all the wonderful things that you guys sent me. Yeah, um, Anna, have I met you in person? Some of my goth friends I know from the goth community in Idaho, but I didn't actually meet them in person yet. Sorry about the eight? What does, I'm not sure what you mean by that. But, yeah, you guys are just beyond amazing, and Trina is ridiculously talented. Oh, that I'm missing the eight? <laughs> That's all right. Uh, I don't really have big use for numbers, so it's all right. But yeah, um, I, I'm going to have a time trying to pack all this stuff back away <laughs> so I can take it down to the crow's nest. But um, the generosity that you guys have shown has just blown my mind. Oh, yeah, 2013, I had moved to Washington, so we haven't met in person. But they're friends of friends, and if they're their friends, they're my friends. So we all hang out together, and basically on Facebook, because can't hang out in person, obviously. And I don't know what I would do without them. I, an, an amazing group of goths. I can't praise them enough. I have no words for it, but I'm super grateful for you guys. 33 cents each? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> um, I've... I'll find a use. Everything. I will find a use for everything you've given me. And it's going on. Yeah, it's been two and a half hours doing this unboxing. But there was... I am just flabbergasted at how much you managed to fit in that box. Poor Tommy. He got a package today, too. And his package was like this big. Oh, yeah. oh he wants to show you. <laughs> yeah, come on over. Let's tilt the camera up because he's tall <laughs> who is this tommy say hi tommy hi tommy <laughs> bend down oh there's his box and you guys saw my box oh <laughs> his box is that all it was in it no no was oh i was gonna have a heart attack <laughs> like, what acrylic ink that's what he got in his box I, I want to try him, too. Uh, he's been airbrushing Warhammer 40k minis. Mm -hmm. And I've been constructing mine. I haven't started painting yet. Whoa, what is that? A black. Oh, that's a lot. Carbon black. Okay, when you're done with these bottles, I want them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Lots of different colors. Yeah. Let him see your handsome face. Mm -hmm. Handsome face. Am I? <laughs> All right. Yeah. I... That's my Viking. Uh, yeah, he's painting, uh, Warhammer 40k figurines, minis. As you put it away, put aside anything you have questions about, and we can go through them. Awesome. What? 
Oh, Lord. Okay, so you've been auto-modded because it says Evan Bitches. Okay, sorry about that. <laughs> um, I do have kids that watch this sometimes, so... <sighs> yeah. Anyway. Yeah. Um. So, yeah. I will set aside anything I have questions about. You, you answered most of it. I know there were a few other things. Oh, what was this, anyway? It wasn't your wedding veil. What was it? Oh, they took the word bitches. They didn't like that. <laughs> I love this. This is so beautiful. Just a costume piece. Well, cool. I can combine it with the goth crown that Tommy's mom gave me. I'm pointing to my glass case like you can see. I don't know if you'll be able to see. I have a... Oh, yeah, you can kind of see it. If my camera will play ball. Come on. So I've got a mannequin head that I made over there on the top shelf. And on the mannequin head is a, it's a glittery black. Oh, right. Um, it's a glitter, glittery, wow. Glittery black skull surrounded by miniature dusty pink roses, a big sparkly focal piece. <clears throat> with rhinestones around it and then flowers along the band I put toothpicks uh, dipped in gold paint into the skull so it looks like a, a crowny, thorny crown it's the end of the night I can't talk actually Tommy if you don't mind bringing it to me I can show it to them the, just bring the whole mannequin head you can try and it's really easy to tip, so you got to be super careful. <clears throat> Basically, the toothpicks are holding it in place. Ooh, do you have pictures of your veil? Yeah, bring it. The one that you did with the metallic thingy paint. How do we both end up with hot? I know, right? <laughs> oh my god. When I first met him, it was online. Yeah, you have to kind of... There you go. Whoops. Or you can just bring the crown. <laughs> yeah. When I met him, it was online. We were gaming. Oh, there you go. Knock down a stone. <laughs> and he told me he was Norwegian. And I'm like, yeah, right. You're Norwegian. Because I'd never met a Norwegian. And sure enough, he truly was. Aha. Yeah, I'd love to see that. All right. So this is the headband. You can see, it's kind of, let me hold it over here some. I did a little nest of spider eggs on the top corner there, made out of um, spider webbing like you use from the store. And I just pulled it across the face of the skull. And then I dipped these, um, they're actually mini hors d'oeuvre skewers. And I dipped them in gold paint and just shoved them in because it's a styrofoam skull. And I had, this was a ring, and the ring broke because it was one of those elastic rings. So I just took the, p the middle piece of the ring and put it on top of its crown. And then the flowers, these flowers here, and the purple flowers came with the band. I added this pink rose, and then of course I added, whoa, I'm going to drop it. <laughs> the dusty pink roses here. Thank you. And then you can look in the back, you can see... The crown goes all the way around the Scully's head. So, I took something that was so-so and just really decked it the heck out. And I was going to wear it today, but I hadn't planned on showing myself much. So, Stuart, you were asking about what Tommy paints. This is, uh, what is it called? Exocrine from the Tarragon. Tyranid. Can you see? The metallic, it looks like a beetle. The way the light changes, it's light changing paint. Yeah. So he assembled this and then he painted it, airbrushed it, and. Yeah, Warhammer 40k. Ooh, she's got three large bins of Halloween stuff and she wants to send me a smaller box. Only 20 pounds or so. <laughs> Only 20 pounds. Yeah. Oops, I dropped the feathers. Not your first thought. What was your first thought? 
<laughs> Dare I ask? Let's see if you can see some of the green in his face. It's a little fuzzy. Pull it back some. And the camera is not being my friend. <laughs> Let's see. Turn it that nope, turn it that way. Haha. -ha. So you can see he's put some work in on this one. And it looks purpley on my screen. It's actually a really nice blue. But it's because it's light changing. It it looks like one of those beetles, really. Almost like a scarab. Yeah, it's iridescent. It's a fine glitter in the paint. <clears throat> she said, uh, she can't ship liquid, but if you can find dry pigment, pigment, she'll ship it. And yes, I saw the raw pigment powder, and it's gorgeous. I don't know if it would clog the airbrush or not. Thoughts, Tommy? I don't know. Yeah, so... But I have... Yeah. He, he's got plenty of paint. There is a shop, a hobby shop in Norway... Or rather, it's based, the store is based in Norway. So that we can get. It's the body paint that you airbrush that we can't really get. I want to show you guys the claws. They are black, like crow claws. But then up here, if I can get my big fat fingers, there's red, which is the blood, of course. It's not there. It showed up a little bit. <laughs> so he's paid a lot of attention to detail with these. Uh, when was the last time before this that you painted Warhammer minis? Uh, 20 years ago. Oh, yeah. 20 years ago or so. So not bad. And I, I would imagine you didn't airbrush them back then. Uh. Yeah, so I'd say his skills have quite improved. I haven't seen his old ones. He can't find his old ones, which is sad. But So he's playing Tyranids, and I am playing the Adepta Sororitas, the Battle Sisters. Or I... I've played them a little bit with him. I haven't really competed with them, but... <laughs> and I'm still assembling my minis, so I haven't even painted them yet, but I'll be doing that as well. So, Yeah, he did assemble... Oh, you want to get them? They're on the dining room table. He assembled... What are they called? Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, it sounds right. An emulator and... Yeah, go ahead and take that. And then, what was the name of the female character? Palantine? Okay, so she's kind of a lieutenant. Ooh, babe. She's got a list here of dry pigments. Uh, pearlescent. This is the emulator, yes? I think it's the emulator. Oh, I've lost which screen I'm looking at. Hang on a sec. Make sure that I'm showing you guys. Look at the... This is meant to be stained glass. And then, just look. It's hard to see in this light, but it's got a, what style gun would you say this is? The one that goes side to side, strafing, something like that. And then this whole battle top turns side to side. And I'm actually going to take it off so I can take off the stained glass and paint it different. Rather than just spray paint the whole thing black and then, you know, I want it to look like glass. So I want to paint it separately. Show you the back of it. Oh, it's so hard to see. I've got really bad lighting here. But um, there are two figures, robed figures, holding really long swords. Uh, there. You can see it now. Cosmetic grade. Perfect. And where? Oh, back here on the side. There is a missile launcher. Yep. Yeah, it's hard to show them that. It's because the stained glass is in the way. But there's a shrine back here with a holy figure surrounded by candles. And it looks like graveyard fencing. Lines. Mm, hard to show you guys. It's right in here. So if you can see that. Ooh. That's a smart idea, Trina. She said very thin polish gives it the stained glass effect. Yeah. 
Yeah, the acrylic ink. Yeah. So this is just absolutely stunning. He bought it for me and then assembled it for me in secret. And then what did you say she was? Paladine? Palantine. Let's see how well the camera... I'm going to try and get to where the... There. So she's got kind of a halo on the back of her backpack. Uh, looks like she's holding a, a whip of some kind. Is it a rosary? It doesn't quite look like a rosary, because there's something really big on it, but then it's not Catholic, so it might be the equivalent of a rosary. Anyway, um, so yeah, we're assembling and painting minis as well, and on top of every other thing that we do. And Trina, I don't know if you've had a chance to see this, but I carved and did pyrography on a short-handled flat distaff. It's for spinning wool into yarn. Um, I have two Angora rabbits, as you know, and basically you card the wool, and then you lay the rollogs on top, and you bind it with ribbon, and then you just tuck it under your arm and feed yourself wool as you're spinning it on a spindle. Um, this one's slightly modeled after the Iron Age ones that they found here in Europe. It's not finished. I still have to slim down the bottom and then put a soapstone whorl on it for weight. Anything I want to buy and ship from there. Oh, well, that's awesome. You're super sweet. I will see what there is that I don't have here that I had in the U.S. That's what I'm really after. Uh, Fire Mountain Gems, actually, come to think of it. I used to buy a freaking ton of jewelry making supplies from them. If I can ship what I buy from them to you and then have you send them out, that would be swell. And then, of course, I'll buy, if you want to add to the order, you just tell me what you want and I'll buy that too. <sighs> so, yeah, I'm exhausted. That was a, <laughs> that was a huge task. By the way, freaking love this. This is amazing, and I'm betting you made it. I really love it. I was saying when I found it that I might wear it in my hair as well as wear it as a brooch. So, versatile. Love me some versatile jewelry. Oh, it looks like wire, I see. Sweet. Yeah. This is gorgeous, and I love the colors. So, but yeah, we're coming up on the top of three hours for the steampunk ball. Oh, right on. Okay. Cool. See, a lot of this stuff is super special, both because Trina made it and it has personal significance to her. So you can bet I'm going to use it and love it and take really good care of it. But as I was saying, yeah, she mentioned that, that they were um, industrial strength. Oh, now I've already forgotten what they're called. Fuses, I think. Sorry, I have the brains of a goldfish. But anyway, um, thank you again so much for sending all of this to me. I can't wait to show you guys what I make with it. Yeah, and you know what? Be good to yourselves. Be good to each other. I love you. You guys have a good day, good night, wherever you are. Take care.